Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of SoGirl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. I'm shattered before I start today, you know. I arrived on time, uh, did the bins, cleaned the kitchen, loaded the dishwasher, all that, all that before we even started. I had my porridge, unpacked tomorrow. I had such a busy morning. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to Side Street, and shall we start with the early bird? Ta da! You know what the early bird is? It's where we bring you something, take money off it. We shouldn't take money off it, but we do. Uh, and it means that you, when you've bought this, and you've checked out your PNP is paid for for the day because there's only one PNP for the whole day of three pound ninety five. Now this is normally twelve ninety nine. This how much? Oh, nine ninety nine. Save three pounds. Now you must be looking at thinking, what is Roxanne? What is that? Well, what are they? Because you're getting more than just it, aren't you? These are pencils. Right? Now they're marking pencils for your quilt. <coughs> Excuse me, so if you don't use a pen or if you don't use anything like that, these are chalk marking pencils. Uh, you do get four little tops as well because they're not sharpened yet. And let me turn that up that way. Look, that way. You even get a pencil sharpener. I know. Now remember, when you're sharpening a pencil, you turn the sharpener, not the pencil. Always remember that. Now, these are huge in America. They are very, very popular, always have been. And ever since we launched them at Sewing Quarter and have had them here since, they've been, they have flown out at £12.99. But no, today, and today only, you will get them, for, well, I say that, 
We've been saying, haven't we, the person in charge of the pricing for the, the early birds, they give you special deals. They forget to t- wipe them off, don't they? I know. £9.99. And pence. They're fantastic. You get, four, you get two silver and two white. You get your, your, your as I say, your, your tops, your caps. So once you've once you've um, sharpened them, you can put the tops on like a pen cap almost. So you're not going to break the break the. Um... Now Hannah's got these, haven't you, Hannah? Have you got the white or the silver? She's got the white ones. Yeah, because when, when she first did her first uh, first quilt topper, she didn't know what to use to mark it. She didn't want to use a pen because she didn't know about friction pens and things then. So she, t- she... oh, hang on, she's just telling me. Oh, and she's not tested every fabric with her friction pen, so she's a bit worried. But this, it's fantastic. Let me show you. So you get a sharp and cap. It's one sharpener, four pencil caps and four pencils. Okay, if you can buy these on the Long River, are they the same thing? Okay, just the pencils, without the sharpener, without other lids. No, there's no lids. Right, and how much are they? £9.50 without the sharpener and without the lids. Different flower, look, they've got a yellow flower on theirs. And the sharpener, what? Okay, it's really annoying when you can't find a sharpener, Shane, so it's brilliant to have in the pack. 9 99 you're saving three pounds because it should be 12 99 At 12 99 these were very, very popular, flew out the door. I oh, know. Make sure you check out, once you've checked out, that's your P&P paid for, for the day. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? You only pay one p and for three ninety five for the whole day, from midnight to midnight. Whether you buy from me, whether you buy from the website, or if you buy from Yarn Lane later, because remember, I'm only on Sewing Street till 12, and then we have to run down the road to the, to the uh, other studio, to the Yarn Lane studio. We get the better presenter. We get a much younger guest. Well, she'll look haggard by then, I'm sure. She's shaking her head at me. Nine ninety nine. Keep going through for these. Right, let me do a few messages on your Facebook live because there's loads of you there. Blimey. Uh, so Marcy says good morning. Kate says good morning. Dee says good morning. Leslie says good morning. Love you all, says Leslie. I think she's still drunk from last night. Good morning, says Donna. Claire says good morning. John, Wendy and team. Looks like it's going to be a great show with all those lovely fabrics. Cousin Susan says hello. Laurie says morning, John and crew. Very sunny in Suffolk. It's chucking it down here, Laurie. I can't tell you. It's like... What's it called? Not inundations. Um, monsoon. Monsoon. Uh, Pam Minihani says good morning. Claire says good morning. Grey in Silverstone. Princess says morning. Margaret says morning. John, Hannah and the team. The team is... Well, I'll leave you guessing who the team is. Uh, then we've got Anne. Uh, I know it's you, Elliot. I know. Uh, morning, says Stuart. What? You turn the sharpener. No, well, there's a new thing. I've been doing it wrong for 40-odd years. There you go. Good morning, gorgeous, says Denise. I don't know who she's talking to. Good morning, John and team. I've ordered my early birds. I need some good marking pencils. Oh, well, Hannah can vouch for these. Um, right. Uh, Glennie says, go on, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, Loadsy there. Morning, Crazy Lorraine. Morning, John, says Suzanne from sunny Aberdeenshire. It was raining in Aberdeenshire. So the rain's obviously moved down, isn't it? And good morning, says Judith. Right. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. That's all I'm going to say. Ready? I've also got, before I go do the menu, I've got panel of the week. Now, this is a panel that is launched on Tuesday. It's at a special price, right? And on Monday, if stocks last, because last week sold out on Thursday, if stocks last... Right, uh, it will go back up next week. So if we if we make it again, then the price goes up. Right, this week it's an Alison Marion Marion Alison panel. Do you remember she did the apron for the birthday? There you go. This is just one of the things you can do with it. Now the bunting is made out of just the, the extra fabric around the edges, with, uh, and the letters are done with um, uh, uh, felt pens. Felt pens. Saving three pounds. Panel of the week, there it is. So on it, you get your four candles. Four candles! Four candles! That's what's it, isn't it? Two Ronnies. Uh, then you get a little cake, a big cake, another big cake, and you get cupcakes. There we go. 4 99 Have you got a birthday coming up? Uh, you, you don't have to make an apron. Um, to see these here... Alison Marion's made those into little purses, I think she said just day. Oh, she sent it. She sent it, she? Oh, she is good, isn't she? 
Amos says, good morning, John. A little bit of John before I go to work. A little bit of Monica in my soup. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? Where's, anyway, Lorraine says, good morning, you lovely bunch. Anna says, good morning. I'll see you there. Uh, anyway, uh, we're just going to show you a picture. Keep checking out on this, because you've already paid your PNP if you've bought the um, early bird, remember? Uh, 4.99. Alison Marion has sent along a picture. And that's it. There you go. It's here. That's where the tape is, Elliot. 4.99. Oh, look at her cat. Oh, you can't see it yet. Sorry. My bad. Look. So this is the bag that Alice and Mary and Mary now and Mama Bebe has made. Look at that. It's Siamese, that cat, isn't it? Beautiful. We're not selling the cat, sadly. I know. I oh, know, I do miss my cats. Somebody put on, because you know my niece sent me some lilies and lots of people said, oh, make sure you cut the middles out in case you poison the cats. And I was like, the cat's been dead for over a year now. Still miss them, still miss them. But I've got the family in the attic now, so that's all right, I don't need cats. They were very noisy this morning. They were banging on the pipes this morning. Yeah, 4 99 Did they, remember you told me, Elliot, the day that my back door was open, you said there'll be a family in your attic. Yep, they're there. They make so much noise this morning. Like I say, they were banging on the... Um, like when Elsie Tan... Remember, remember when Ken Barlow's... When there was a burglar on Coronation Street, they said, bang on the pipes. And Valerie Barlow was banging on the pipes and nobody went up to save her. Do you remember that? It wasn't about... You'll remember when you landed. It was about 1960, wasn't it? 4 99 Right, moving on. Moving on. Right, now, I've got to move over... But before Wendy comes on, just to prove that we do do this, I've just got to wipe the table down. Right, have a look at the menu. Have a look at the menu. So we've got Beach Life Jelly Roll Quilt with Wendy Orlando. Oh, that's the one that was just behind me then. That was the one that was just behind me. It's beautiful, isn't it? We've got three different colourways in that. Um, you're going to love it. Uh, then at nine o'clock, we've got... Per oh, actually, we can show a picture of it, actually. Sorry, I have the Beach Cuts one, the red one. There you go, isn't that lovely? Then, of course, after that, we've got pre-cuts. Pre-cut, perfect pre-cuts and summer panels is what we have. Then we go on to Sunny sunf Sunflower Quilt with Wendy Orlando. That's that one. Oh, look at that. That's a clever picture. Oh, yeah, see, it's in the box. Well done, Elliot. That's a lovely one. That's the only compliment you're getting all day, Elliot. That's all right. And then back to the menu, then we've got floral, oh now, so if you like the fabric, in that hour, you can buy the quilt kit, but we've also got the fabric and, do you remember yesterday I had that really, really beautiful fabric and I only had it in a bundle, I've got that in that hour as well. Um, anyway, that's that floral hour. Then of course we, Yarn, uh, Street is closed for the day and we run down, the, run down the road to Yarn Lane and we do corner to corner crochet with Wendy Orlando. Uh, lovely, lovely cushions, we've got like, um, Oh, there you go. We're going to show them. Uh, sheep. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong background. Never mind. Uh, now, have we got that one? We don't know if we've got that one yet, Elliot, or not. Dog. And then now there's a giraffe, but our giraffe is on a different colour to that. Our giraffe is apple, not that sage green. Anyway, that's Sean Lane. That's Sean Lane. I shouldn't even have shown you those. Uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. So you can send, just send it to studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. They're the ones that go through to Hannah and she reads them in my earpiece. You can send a message on the Facebook Live, which are the ones I'm reading at here, and I'll do a few more of those while, while you're looking at that. Sue says, good morning, John and team. Another fun-filled morning with John and Wendy. You could be the new presenters on this morning. Sue, I've done that, been there. Right, Lulu says, morning everyone, had a good day. You're looking gorgeous as ever. I don't know what's wrong with your telly because I'm not gorgeous, that's for sure. Sue says, morning darling, John and crew. Looking good this morning, be quiet. Hannah. Can't wait to see Wendy's demo and the interaction between the two of you. Love to all, says Sue. Lynn says, family in the attic. You sure you don't have squirrels? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll explain in a minute, Lynn. Uh, morning, says Wendy. Ruth says, morning, Mr. Wonderful and crew. Looking forward to watching Wendy and her fabulous demos. What is it with you all today? 
because uh, they're always so rubbish, she says. No, I'm only joking. She says, been hailstoning here in Durham. Lots of love from Ruth. Right, very quickly, I haven't got a, I haven't got a family squirrel dramatic. I went home about two weeks ago, and I know that I locked the door when I went to, went to work in the morning, got home, the back door's wide open, right? I went in, no telly, uh, no, not no telly. I thought the telly, the, nothing had gone, nothing had gone at all. Elliot came in here the next day, and Elliot said, um, we were talking about the computers in my attic, actually, for my showers. But um, uh, anyway, Elliot said, oh, there'll be a family move in there. And like, now, ever since, all I hear is noise upstairs in the attic. And he said, have you not had to go to have a look? I don't know how to get in the attic. I can't reach. Anyway, uh, you can also send me a message via the website. So you go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live. Then you'll see a box to the right-hand side there. And you can send a message. Just write the message in there. Hello, says Hannah. Hello, John. You, you look. Oh, I thought she'd put OK then. Uh, then you click on there, you send the message, and that goes, and that's when a white box appears on the bottom of the screen. Scroll down the page, and you'll see that there's today's early bird, which is also today's bestseller so far. Oh, now, the, it's already show, oh, show deal, of course, yes, because... Oh, where's the, oh, the panel's still in, of course, the panel's still in. Isn't it funny how sometimes the early bird comes up and sometimes it doesn't? Anyway... If you're, there's two columns, today's show deals on the left and on the right is pre-order. That is everything from today's Sewing Street show. So there's all the first hour. Oh, I forgot to tell Wendy we had those hair clips for her. There's the second hour coming up now. Oh, lovely. Pre-cuts. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going up. Oh, look at that lovely camper van. Right, now there is... Oh, it's, what's that one? Oh, that's little Paul's bed. That's little Paul's be bedroom. And it was his birthday yesterday. I was going to get him that for his birthday. Never mind. Then Wendy's second quilt there, the sunflower quilt. Okay, and all the things that she's not going to use to make it. And then all the fabrics from that quilt collection. Look, there's a mega bundle. What's that in the circle? What's it say in the circle? Oh, there's one other... <laughs> <laughs> There's one other fabric we didn't have a picture of. Anyway, keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. There's all those gorgeous fabrics. Now, here are the ones. Oh, I love those fabrics. Beautiful. Now, you can buy them. The reason we put them on pre-order is if you've got to go out, you can buy them now. You can order them now. Just click on Add to Basket and check out, and they're yours. But please make sure you check out. That's still all floral fabrics there. <clears throat> and then that's when we, we all run to Yarn Lane and when... Now, I need to tell you that Yarn Lane isn't loaded yet, pre-order, only because as, as, as soon as we can, we will. It's just that you remember we showed the picture of that um, forget-me-not. No, what was the flower? Oh, forget-me-not. was a forget-me-not. No. It was forget-me-not. was forget-me-not. At the moment, we've got one of, the, one of the threads is missing, a yarn's missing, so we can't put it up yet. It's getting sorted. It's getting sorted. And as soon as it is, Anna will tell me and I'll tell you. No, the fat quarter storage bag's about to sell out and I haven't even shown it yet. It's on the website. We've got, we had loads of them. It's about to go. That's how pre-order works, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry about that if you were coming in for that. But I've given you the heads up. Still, how many are left, Anna? Can you tell? Oh, there's six left, that's all. There's only six left. <laughs> and the red and black design roll from, oh, the day, the, the, the one, not today's, the one from... Uh, Delphine's doggy show the other day. We had fewer than 20 of those. So we've got, we've got the, we haven't got Delphine's pattern. We've just got the design roll because that's what Delphine used. Sold out on the day, but now we've got 20. We well, we've only got 20 left now. Right, should we start? Oh, my word. That was a bu busy old start to the day, wasn't it? I've got a new one today because, yes. There we go. Yesterday's, I didn't put that much on. The first few didn't work. Um, yesterday, the one I had went all over me, didn't it? And all over my screen on here. Right, so shall we have a look at this quilt that we're making in the first hour? It's Wendy Orlando's. It's from the pa Pam and Nikki Lintop. It's from Pam and Nikki Lintop. There it is. I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the book and I'll show you the bundles. And then when I introduce Wendy, we'll talk about the book in more detail, if that's right. But this is a gorgeous, this always sells out. Jelly Roll Quilts by Pam and Nikki Lintot, award-winning mother and daughter uh, duo. 15 quick and easy quilt patterns. Look, it's a pound a pattern. How much would you pay for a quilting pattern? 
Anyway, 14 99 I've got a few issues, but don't worry, I'll sort them out. I've got a few issues anyway, but I've got a few issues with my, my talk back today. At uh, 14 99 it's beautiful, isn't it? Right here. Yeah? I'll go through that in a second because I want to show you. What page is, is the one we're doing on? 68. Your age, John. <laughs> Wendy's waist size, my age, she's saying. Right, here you go. Beach life, that's what we're doing. Nice, isn't it? Anyway, I'll go through the whole book in a second, but that's the one we've got the bundles for today. Oh. Oh, yeah, now, you see, if you wanted it in red, white, and black, no, black, white, and red, we've got the design roll for that later, haven't we? And it uses up a whole design roll as well, just so you know. Right, okay, my three bundles are this one here, which is the one that was on the wall behind Wendy. So what you get here is you get your design roll, which you'll see this more. I'm not going to open it. You'll see this more when we um, do it with Wendy later. 49 99 so you get that, and you get a metre of white. This is white fabric. It doesn't look white on the telly, but that's white fabric there. 49.99. So you get now obviously the book is separate. You don't get the book in that deal. Oh, Jackie's on my bottom. Morning, John. Lovely sunny quilt behind you. Just what we need on this dull day. Oh yeah, this one here. That's Wendy's second one coming up in, in two hours' time. Okay, right. So this one. Okay, I don't know why this has happened. This is brand new to us, this design, Ron. They've taken six pounds off. Yeah, we've had this in a five-inch charm pack before, but we've not had it in a design roll. Anyway, take it. Oh, now this is why you need your little vacuum cleaner look. I always go on about it, don't I? Right, so you get a metre of white, you get the design roll, and you get six pounds off, 49.99. Lovely, 49.99. So that is your, is your um, first one, the one Wendy's made. The one she's going to be demoing with is this one. Now, you've seen this fabric before. I'm not going to open this one because you'll see Wendy working with it in a second. So this one is Moda. 39.99, you get, you get the Moda design roll and you get a metre of the cream. That's cream on this one. Or it might be vanilla, is it? Vanilla. Vanilla. Or as, as, uh... Oh, I, got, I had a block then. I had a word block. I could see the words and I couldn't say them. Isn't that weird? As Hannah calls it, Valina. Valina. So you get a metre of that and you get the design roll. You don't get the book in the kit. You need to buy the book separately if you want the pattern. Okay, and then last but not least, this one we won't see at all. Oh, this has got a discount as well. Six pounds off. Right, the Bloom and Grow range, we've got more fabrics later on, and we've got some of this later on in the pre-cuts hour. We've got some of that in the 10-inch squares in the pre-cut hour. Yeah, I just said that. I don't know why. Six pounds off. We don't know why. It's now, so it's uh, Bloom and Grow. Bloom and Grow forever. Riley Blake, we love Riley Blake. We love candy from Riley Blake. And there are fewer than 20 of those already. Oh, all of it is. Right. All of the design rolls are in this kit. So when they've sold, that's this design roll gone. In and out. In and out. Quarter of the stock's gone already. Saving six pounds. I know. I don't know why. I wonder why they've done that then. <coughs> I, I take advantage of it. It's, I'm not complaining. Poof, not being negative. Every single one of those three bundles has been very popular. That'll go downhill now when we see Wendy Orlando, but that's by the by. <laughs> right, I'm going to do these later because I think we ought to, to do some sewing as that's what we're in about. But let's have a look at the book. Morning, Wendy. Good morning. Bob. I love your hair. I know you don't, like you said you didn't like it. I think it really suits you. Now, you know when you get to a certain age? <laughs> yeah, 60, yeah. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Oh, quite. you're not? Not quite. Um, and you go short, it kind of ages you. But no, I don't know. I think it's done completely the opposite. Oh, okay. I think it's Thank taken, you. And that's not a compliment. Oh, thank you. Don't <laughs> take it as a compliment. But it really suits you. I will take that. Yeah. I'll take what you this. need to do, have you got any straighteners? You need, no, no, no. But you need to do one of those, like when you're going out, those really, that really sharp bob. Oh, that'd look nice. Just coming down to your cheekbone, where your cheekbone should be, you know. <laughs> 
that that would make me look very stern. People do think I am stern, but I'm not. I really not. You're not stern. Oh, people think that I am bossy, <laughs> but not stern. Um, oh, passionate is the word you're looking for. Excuse me, it's not, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Not bossy, passion. passionate. Okay, I'm passionate. Talk to me. I'm, we won't look at us. We'll look at this book now because this book is adorable, isn't it? This book is the first book way back when I did my first show. This was the book I was set, I was sent. I, I remember telling you that I said I don't do quilts. So they sent me I a wasn't quilt. Here for your first show, you weren't. It? No, it no, wasn't I you. Was, I was um, a twinkle in your eye. So, <laughs> and you song. still are. Um, <laughs> uh, that's cataracts. <laughs> anyway, come on. That's let's me do, age. Come on, let's um, do sewing. Yes, it was the first book I was sent, and I. I didn't do quilts back then. Yeah. And you know when you, you buy something or you see something, you think, oh, no, I don't really need that. I won't buy it. I would absolutely, totally recommend this book. The quilts in here, well, you're just seeing them now, are so easy to make. Uh, but they look absolutely stunning. And I'm all for, I'm one of those people that if I can make something easy, look difficult, I'll do it. No. If, no, that, no, no, you got that if, the wrong no, way round. If I make something that's easy look difficult, I'm all for it. If you make something that's easy look difficult, okay. Now I think she means, okay, she's shaking her head, right? That, uh, so if she wants to make it look difficult. No, no, yes, that's it. So to other, so to everyone else, they think, whoa, that's really yeah, yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah. What you want is you want something that people think, wow, you've really done yeah, that. Yeah, and it's easy. So, it's so easy. yeah, if you yeah. make something that's that's actually easy look difficult. Now that I'm not going to let you detour me off She's that one. Me. She's lost me. Anyway, I'm carrying on. I've lost myself book. now, haven't I? Norwegian um, wood. But um, so I've done the tutti frutti. That was my first one. Uh -huh. I did that. That was amazing. I've done that one. The one done that you're just showing. Time, I've yeah. done picnic time. Uh, that was very easy. But they look really complicated, don't yeah. they? But they're yeah. not. So we're having a bit of beach life today. Perfect. I'll just carry on going through it because there's also Wayfarer. You see, don't they look complicated? But they're all made out of two and a half inch stripsies. I've done yeah, that one. Yeah, and we haven't got stripology at the end of the at the moment. But if you've got stripology, it'd be so easy. If you don't want to use a, a, jelly, a design roll. Absolutely. Obviously, we, we, the jelly, just so you know, jelly rolls and design rolls are the same thing. It's just you can only call one made by Moda a jelly roll. All the others have to be called design rolls. Now, just I never knew that. Yeah. That's my little tip that you told me. There about, you go. You learned, learned something. Oh, today. I love this one. Yeah, yeah. It's because when Moda first started, it was started in a cake factory, an old, an old cake factory. So that's why you get layer cake and all oh, the thing jelly roll and clever. sweets and things like that. That's clever. So they 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 use those mm. names and other that, people. That's the tutti frutti that I was talking about. Um, and oh, you've made that one. I'm, uh, I've made no. What I did, and this is why this book is so amazing. Do not think of it as a quilt book. Right. Think of it as inspiration. I made cushions. You can make quilt run um, runners. You can make placemats. There is so much you can make with them because a lot of them are simply repetitive blocks. Right. So that's it. Yep. So instead of putting, uh, I don't know how many blocks are in that particular one, but you could just choose a section of it, especially the one you've got there. Yep. That would make amazing placemats. It would also make when you, you know, like when you've got your machine and you don't want it to be rattling and making a noise, so you make a nice little thing to go under Send it. Then your machi machine rattles. Mine doesn't. No, Mine doesn't. <laughs> uh, but no, just to, to lay your machine on. And because they're all different sizes, you're going to find one that will fit what you need. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And also with jelly rolls, do not look at them as two and a half inch strips. Right. Look at them as the chance to create the most incredible fabric. Because if you sew 10 together, you've got a really substantial piece of fabric. Yeah. So never, I, 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 I was on that. I, I didn't think, oh, you can't really do much with jelly rolls until I was sent them. And it was like, you can make so so much with them and you'll get little bits left over which are perfect absolutely perfect for fussy cutting and things exactly. like that so i yes do not look at them as two and a half inch strips look at them as the chance to create a massive piece of fabric oh. i just need to tell you that the bloom and grow there's only 12 left already it's only 25 past eight and there's only 12 left i remember when this bundle goes with the, the, all of them are in this kit these aren't available on their own and you're getting six pounds off as well, remember. So you get the gel design roll, you also get the metro fabric, and you get six pounds off. So it should be, what, uh, 55.99. Is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 50, yeah, 55.99, yeah. <laughs> the brain's not working. working this morning, <laughs> yeah. no. 
Right, okay. And Hannah's going, yeah, John, that's right. And I'm like, it must be wrong. If Hannah's saying it's oh, right. Oh, that's nice. not nice. You've started on Hannah early, haven't you? No, 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 no. She starts mm. on me. Did she start? That, that one you've just shown is beautiful for the summer because it's very bright and it's yes, very crisp. Yeah. And the one that I've made behind me is very romantic. That's beautiful, that it's one. It's gorgeous, behind isn't you, it? Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? There it is, finished. Absolutely gorgeous. But as you say, I can see that that's one block repeated in the middle. And, and at the corners, and then just stripes the rest of it, isn't it? So, yes, yes, yeah. You and just, yet it's so dramatic and effective, it. isn't it? Yeah. And that's, that's all that is, and the sashing's really easy. And I'm going to tell you to do something with that that I wouldn't normally do, because I normally tell you to over. But this one, you, don't, you have to be absolutely exact. That's all it is. And the hardest thing that you're going to find with this is actually choosing how to place your fabrics. Yeah. What I did, and I'll show you, you see these up closer here, is... Not on that one, because you will get one a bit left over with the red. But I, I did different colourways. So I had the darker pink, then the red, then the white, and then the pink. So I selected, I put them, and this is what I do. This is just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put them all in their colourways, their background colourways. Because what you need to do is you need to sew them in strips of four. So they're my four strips. So all the way through the quilt that you can see on the back, they've all got those, they've all got those four colourways right. going through them. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect opportunity just to do random though, because um, you will, if you if you have like two reds together, you're going to get reds together. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I can only see it once, but you've got, it looks like you've got two, oh no, I see, but that mm. works, but you've got two pinks together, you've got like a pink squiggle and a pink dot together. Yes. It looks nice, it still but, looks lovely, yes. yeah. Um, but really the best thing to do is just pick them pick them random but for the the this one and I've never seen this I have seen them in the little but I haven't seen them in the jelly roll yeah. um, for this one I did segregate them all and put them all into their colorways now I've tried to do that with the colorway that we're doing um, today but it's it's not obvious this time right so these are the fabrics these are absolutely gorgeous just look at this gonna, gonna give a completely different completely. design and completely different story isn't it in those colors it really is, and um, this one is a little bit more muted. The the red one is is really I love the the red and pink yeah. one. It's really really in your face, and this is um, a little bit more. The one you're about to work with is the most popular. I am not surprised. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it, they're just so delicate. Some of the prints they're just amazing, and you've got the polka dot, and you've got the little flowers, and you've got the big flowers, and then you've got stripes, and it's brilliant because the stripes are going vertical, they're brilliant, or horizontal, depends which way you look at it. Yeah. Um, but look at all that fabric, it's amazing. But please, please do not think of them as two and a half inch strips. Think of them as the chance to create the most wonderful patchwork. Also, Hannah's, I can hear Hannah muttering in, in the background, 39.99 is not right for a mode of jelly roll. I don't think so, no. personally. So, and a metre fabric as well. And a metre fabric on top of that as well. It doesn't sound, because that's less than a, a pound a stri strip. And on a mode uh, design roll, I know on the Riley Blake they're taking six pounds off. We wondered why they hadn't taken six pounds off the mode one. I think it's because maybe they've already taken mm, a price off because that's so. very good value. And maybe that's why one of the reasons it's in the lead. At the now, I just literally ripped it off when I got it home. Does it state on there how much it covers? Because I'm just thinking. Uh, I again, don't know if I know. I've never seen that before. No, I hadn't. I just wondered if they no, put, no, they did, so they don't put uh, the coverage. Two and a half inch strips, 100% cotton. But there's 40 tail. of them, isn't there? There's what? It's 40 of them. Doesn't actually say on here, but usually it's usually 40, isn't it? So I'm just trying to see my maths. Well, yes, yeah, so it's 40 morning, times two, two and, and a half. half. So that's 80, 100 inches. So that's two, two and a half metres. Oh, whoa. Two and a half metres by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is a huge piece of fabric with designer fabric. Mm. For forty pound, yeah. So I think that is definitely wrong. I think they were actually dearer than that. Yeah, last you obviously time. know because you're all coming in to get it. Let's I mean, they're all popular. Don't get me wrong; they're all popular. But that one's out. Also, and it's if really you like heavy. that fabric, we've got a ten-inch layer cake for that in the pre-cuts hour. Uh, and it, it's a really good weight to it. Yeah. What I would say, and what I did do, because you're going to be uh, cutting and subcutting and then sewing back together, I did best press them. Okay. This one I did. This one I haven't, right. um, but I've got the best press with me to show you just how to, yeah, to spritz it. Yeah, best press it. available on the website. Um, but yeah, so I do. I did press uh, best press these ones. Okay. Now uh, let's go to this book. This is brilliant. I cannot rave enough about this book. It's a fantastic book. So we're going to be doing. When you said yesterday, I was listening. I was listening in. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. What about the, the beach. No, about the beach life. Um, 
I didn't know if you realised it was like a quilt from a book when you're in the beach life because you know we want to get back out on the beach, don't we? We want to get oh, back yeah, outside. Totally. And this would make a perfect picnic blanket, especially in these colours. Um, I'm all for having um, something that won't show the dirt and that won't. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is uh, just read through the instructions first. They okay. are so clear. They really, really are clear. And they've got the pictures to follow, which is brilliant because then you can see where you're going and what you're doing. Um, and it tells you here exactly how to prepare and how to uh, cut out and sew. Now the first thing that um, you should really do is always press your fabric. I didn't with these because they do come as a roll yep. and they're pretty good. The only thing that you're going to get is that centre fold so you might just want to press it out. Don't be too vigorous with the iron because you want to keep the strip in its truest form. Don't jiggle it about and stretch it otherwise it simply won't fit. The other thing I will just mention that um, just as a pointer Although they are the same length, yeah. they're not the same length. And I know that sounds really silly, but some of them, when you sew them down, this one, you see, I know it's only minuscule. How strange. It is, but um, the method I'm going to show to sew them together in a moment, if you don't start in the right place each time, the, it's going to be different each end. And it does state in here, you need the whole strip. So it is quite tight, this one, but you do get one block left over. Okay. Um, yeah, so the first thing you want to do, and this is the hardest bit, is actually choose four of the strips. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to cut them in half because the last thing you want to see is, I'm gonna go for that color, oh, that looks quite nice. Just shout, Hannah, if any are offensive when I'm sewing them. <laughs> Because uh, I know dots or stripes don't work sometimes very well, do they? And she said it's not the fabric that's. <gasps> oh, that's Hannah, Hannah, how very rude. I would not have expected that from <laughs> Hannah. You, John, yes, but not <laughs> Hannah. She's learned from the master. She has, hasn't she? Um, I think, yes, I like those. Okay. This is just beautiful, isn't it? Now, what we're going to achieve is this. That's what we're looking for. But I'm not going to sew four of those lengths together because it's going to take time okay fine. so i'm just this is what you will be doing you'll be sewing four of these lengths together but just to save time because it's a bit like watching paint dry and i don't want to come over boring oh so you're just going to do rather than doing the whole week, rather than doing do the whole pieces. one i'm just going to do them in halves brilliant There's so many folktale uh, bundles in baskets. If you Ooh. do want to, um, oh, I'll check out. I'll check out for you if you want to. Oh, yeah, when you all check out, if, if everyone who's got one in the basket checks out, they're all gone. Yeah, books on the bundle because we know a lot of you already got the book. Or indeed, you've got your own de design roll that you want to do it with. You only need a design roll and a metre of fabric. That's all you need for the front, for the front. Right, so you'll have to pretend, I'm actually going to cut them all the same size. Yeah, it might works. be a worth it just when you do get them, um, because some of them have got the selvage on the end. Um, so I'm just... Oh, Elliot, at least I say we're not on YouTube today. No, apparently not. Elliot will check, Elliot will check for you. Oh, there's a few people have said it. Jennifer oh. said you're not on YouTube either. We must have dropped off. Yeah. Just recheck because it's the same stream as the Facebook Live, and I've got the Facebook Live open, so it should be on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, and, and the website's taken from YouTube, so just go out and come back in again. You should be, you should be fine. Lisa Lamb's loving the banter between us two this morning. Thank you, Lisa Lamb. Have you met Lisa Lamb yet? I haven't, no. Oh, fireworks. Oh, why? Oh, no, you'll get on. She didn't oh. see you. Does she? I won't say where, I won't say where on air, but then she's down your way. Anyway, carry on with your sign. We nearly ran out of time. Look. <laughs> no, we haven't. Um, so you're going to take your four strips. Yeah. Now, this quilt is brilliant because it will use all the jelly roll. Not all of them use it. Um, so I'm not sure if two use two. So you might even be able to get two quilts out of it. Okay. But obviously you won't get the back in or the binding. No. So that has to be separate. Um, so we're going to take our four strips here. And then what we're going to do, and remember, you've got to use your imagination there, they're really long ones. Yeah. So you would join these two together 
and sew down this way. Then when you join these two together, you sew back up this way. And then when you sew these, you sew back down this way. That's to stop them bowing when you, I have no idea the logic behind it. Okay. No, 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 I don't. I know some people do it that way, but I know other people, Ooh. like Jane Alcock, always mm. taught me when I do Bargello, she taught me to do a Bargello. She said, you sew these two together down that way, you sew those two together down that way, and on a Bargello, you're doing 10 of them, so you do them in t all in twos, and then you do two and two, two and two, two and two, and then you do four and four. But would you sew from the other end? When no, you'd... no, you all so sew, you sew, sew them from the same the end way. all the way, yeah. But it's the same. It's I'm going to try that because yeah, that would be interesting because it is, I'm, I, I don't know why, but it, it does make it, it does yeah. banana, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, don't say banana, I'm hungry this oh, morning. Oh, no, already? When yes. did you start? I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh, no. So that's what we're going to do. Right. Now, you will notice with the, uh, jet, with the jelly roll strips, they've got the little uh, serrated edge because they've been um, all cut, they're all cut to precision. Yeah. Now, what I would say is when you're sewing these together, then when you sew down them, Make sure that each time you're doing it, you use the same eye, line eye, against your machine. So I like to have the tips of my little mountains, mm -hmm. or whatever they're called. Pinkin, pink. Pink, <laughs> pinkins, right on the edge of my foot. You place they're, they're cut by laser, and it's the same as charm packs. And the, the actual two and a half goes from the inside point, not the outside point. So you're not losing an eighth right. of an inch on it. You get, you get the... the points that go out, the pinks that go out, are extra on top of the two and a half inches. And the reason I do that is I would rather trim the block to size after than not yeah. have enough. Because if you sew, and none of us are perfect, yeah. um, if, if you sew a little bit off, then you might not have the full eight and a half inches that we're trying to get okay. at the end. Uh, Jackie, it should be on now. Elliot says it's, on, it's definitely on. Just try again on YouTube. Uh, Princess says her YouTube's frozen. Try again, Princess. Um, and then Rachel says, can I ask about the sunflower material behind you? Yeah, it's all on pre-order. So this is, a, this is a quilt kit that Wendy's gonna do at 10. And then at 11, I've got the fabric for sale as well. But if you need to go out, it's all on pre-order right now. That was for Rachel. And there is another colourway of that as well that's more summery. That one's oh, like, is that? yeah, that's very bold. Oh, okay. and, but then there's a, a much, um, again, Oh, in the, qu in the quilt kit, there's two bundles. In there is, yes. Pale on the dark yeah. one, I got it. But those fabrics again are gorgeous. So all I'm doing, I'm doing a quarter of an inch seam. And again, once you start the project, project, don't change machines, don't change feet. Oh, well, we had this yesterday because um, what quilt were we making yesterday? Oh yes, Alice and Mary Mary Nelson, the, the star, the star one. She did half at home and half it on our machine. It was completely different. Both using quarter inch seam length. They were both different. Yeah. I got caught out the first time I came here by doing that. I thought, yeah, I'll do all this prep at home. Um, and I just couldn't get it to match, and then it didn't match. Yeah. So whatever you start, um, finish, it on, that, finish yeah. it on the same. Now, so I've just finished at this end. So now I'm going to keep hold of that end so I know where I am. And then I'm going to place it right sides to the next strip. So now I'm going to go down the other way. I okay. am definitely going to try it that way, though. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I do know other quilters mm. who do it, to do it the way you do it. So but definitely with the Bargello, yes, I would say, because you've got <coughs> so many well, yeah, strips, you've got ten strips in the then end, yeah. um, I would probably, yeah, I definitely would do the two and two. Oh, isn't it foul out there? It was horrible this mm. morning. Yeah, well, yesterday we had messages that it was really disgusting mm. up north. Yeah. And it's obviously worked its way down the country now. It was glorious down south. So what, Hannah? <laughs> Weather-wise, I'm talking about. Quarter of stock of the book has gone. Wendy Mistake bent all your days quilting. The one behind you is stunning, says Sue. Can I let you into a little secret? And someone else made it. Your husband did it. <laughs> Uh, they don't take, they're not, you know, like summer courts can take you weeks. They're quite a quick make. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to start doing the other one from the end. I've this is, this is my favourite fabric, this one there. It's just so delicate, isn't it? Beautiful. So what I would do, what I would do with this one, um, 
I would probably make half a quilt <laughs> so that I've got the fabric, or I'd buy another design roll. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I would put the same fabric in the different colour together and make myself like a makeup bag. We've got that fabric in 10 inch charm pack length. Well, then I would do that length, then because I could definitely get a little makeup bag. I haven't got much makeup. I don't, no. I don't use much. You don't need much, just a trowel and a plasterboard, do you? Oh, I've missed you. How many days Bloody has it been? been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, I've just told you something. Yeah, didn't I, and earlier. she's on again quite soon. <laughs> <coughs> so you won't have many more it won't have many sleeps before I'm back again no, annoying you. I don't sleep you. when I thought of you. I don't sleep. I saw your comment like when you were saying the guest you had on and like and uh, oh, something like an art hole next to me, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, but then Alison Marion <coughs> um, put a post up that she was excuse me. <coughs> that she was coming on air with me and she put a really strange face with the lovely and then in brackets put this kind of wonky face icon. Oh, right, that was not nice. I don't It's fine. <laughs> right, that that's, needs to speed up a little bit today. Right, so I've done my... How, how long were they? 40-something inches? 44. Be 44, 44 inches. 40 to 43 40, inches yeah. long now. Um, so we've just got to use our imagination. Now we've actually sewn them, the four together, yeah. then we're going to press them. It does tell you how to press them. It pr tells you to press them um, all one way, the seams. Okay. So I'm going to, now that's simply s nesting when you want to nest them, but don't worry if you need to change the orientation, big word there wasn't it, of, you, yeah. it was, wasn't it? of the seam when, as you're <laughs> sewing them together. <laughs> Alison Marion said, uh, you know I love you really John, but then she's done the funny face again, oh no she's done the smiley face on oh. that one. Um, Julie says he loves you really Wendy. <laughs> And Lisa Lamb says, weather-wise, oh, John, I can't concentrate. <laughs> don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Um, so once you've, once you've pressed the seams on the back, then it's always a good idea and just to press them again on the front because sometimes you get the hump. Yes. And we don't want the hump. No, you know what I did? When, when we were at Sewing Quarter, I did a pressing for Joe Carter like that. She was doing a feather quilt and I didn't press it properly and then she <gasps> cut the shape of the feather out and it cut a great... She was cutting a shape across those seams and she ended up with that big V because I pressed it incorrectly. Well, there was never a let me big that. lesson to be learned there, yeah. wasn't it? And you do need to be really accurate with yeah. these um, because especially if you've gone a little bit over the quarter of an inch seam, you're not going to have enough. You do need to have eight and a half inch squares. Yeah. So these sewn together, by the time you've got your... Uh, quarter of an inch seam allowance they, this bit should be eight and a half right. so if you've gone a bit winky wonky all the way down here then it's not going to yeah. we had that quilt yesterday didn't we that fabric yesterday winky wonky fabric winky wonky is there actually a fabric winky pops it was called really yeah australian oh i always say winky when someone's um you know like when you've had something a little bit sharp oh like, like lemon you like mean. lemon oh and they never they're going why are you saying that because it makes you go like winky. oh i see no <laughs> So now you're going to have two different designs. There's two designs here that okay. I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to cut the border and I'm going to cut these. Right. Now what they do say to do, and I, I was looking a bit perplexed earlier because I was trying to work out if there was a way you could do it and I still couldn't work it out. You've got, you sew 10 sets, um, 10 sets of four. So that's your four. Then you put five to one side to make this and then you put five to the other side to make those. So I was wondering if you could somehow do it half and half so that you get even more of an array, but I lost myself, so I yeah. gave up. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do both of them on here. So the first thing that we're going to do, let me just take this off. Also, I think, no, this, I don't mean this any offense to you, but Pam and Nikki Lintot are supremo queens of quilting. So if they knew there was a, better way of doing it no no it, it wouldn't be better i was just thinking if you've got more color combinations oh yes yes but you know oh, no, no. they'll have thought and, and i yeah. don't mean that yeah. at all because you need to for the eight and a half strips yeah. uh, eight and a half squares you need to cut five of them along the row yeah. but for these you need to cut more yeah. so i don't think the maths would no. work then what you need to do now is you need to cut uh, you'll have five to do the side five to do the center so you need to cut eight and a half inch squares right so this is brilliant because this is actually eight and a half. It doesn't matter Perfect. if you haven't got the eight and a half yeah. one. So I'm just going to lay the ruler down. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty spot on. Now, what it's given me is the little bumps here 
and the little bumps there. So that's good to me because that means now I can just trim that off and have a completely square square. So what I'm going to do for this first one, I'm just going to square the edge off and I'm lining it, I'm using my eye to, sorry, just pull it over, using my eye to check that these are all even. And I'm going to square it off. Princess says, and the lesson is, let the guests do their own pressing. Well, we have to now, don't we? We haven't had anywhere near. And Nikki said, thought I was the only person who said winky wonky. Winky wonky. <laughs> Loving you two today, best tonic ever. Shame I can't see as I've got to go to work now. That's Nikki. And a message from Maxine on your bottom. Uh, good morning to you both. It's horrid in Windsor, South. <laughs> Maxine. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I'll just show you if you've got an eight and a half one eight and a half inch one yeah. then you can just use the width of the ruler yeah. and line it up against the side and cut it right. if you've only got a six and a half inch one there's nothing wrong with that I love this one is that you would do it that way yeah. oh, well I've, I've run I haven't got enough space, here, no space but no. you would put the eight and a half along here and yeah. then you'd have to move your ruler up or if you're lucky enough and it's always worth keeping an eye if they come back in stock the stripologies are amazing for doing this yeah we're just waiting for them to arrive they I'll, are I'll ring incredible. Rachel ruler later and find out where they are yeah ring Rachel ruler or ruler Rachel so this one is eight and a half inches so I'm just going to cut down here now what I would do is I would then turn it round and do exactly the same the other way because you'll see that by me doing your little what are they called the bits on the end the pinks did you call them pinking I don't <laughs> know if they're called pinks oh let's name them pinks so the little right. pinks at the edge you can see that I'm a little bit proud there and a little bit proud there so by cutting this off and you want to have it equal so you want to have equal each side then I'm going to turn it around because you should never cut towards you. No. I wouldn't be able to reach anyway. No. Single figures left on this uh, bundle now. And way too many people in baskets, so some of you will get sold out when you come to check out, I'm afraid. So now we have the perfect eight and a half inch square. Lovely. That's absolutely perfect. So that is what goes round the edge. Yeah. And then you just sew them all together. That's so, so simple. Now with this one, we're going to create the square. So you need to still, again, do your four, you've got your four together, but this time it says, and it's all explained in here, so I've just done this process here, which is cut five strips out, uh, uh -huh. five blocks out of that. And now it's saying, take the remaining strips and cut them into 16, two and a half inch segments. So again, this is where the stripology is amazing. But no worries, because all we're going to do is we're going to put it on the two and a half inch line and I don't know when they updated this but they now put the the actual two and a half on there the, the the halves on there they never used to do that you just have to work that one out yourself so I'm going to put it onto the two and a half one Oops. Oh. I definitely do think I need a, a blade change now you still not changed no, it? No, I haven't. She says it every time she comes in. <laughs> and I still don't do it. But that shows how good they are. Oh, no, no, we're okay. Elliot will sort that out for you later. <laughs> not talking to me then, were you? Yeah. What, my blade? He'll get you a new blade. <laughs> I've got one in my, in my box. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got everything in my box. Right. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah, we go. You've got five minutes left, Wendy. Oh, lovely. So now you would have all your uh, strips, your five strips would all be cut out into these and then you just change them. And now this is going to be a repetitive, which is yeah, not, but you've got other nothing versions. to stop that. No, actually. no, not I've at all. just been thinking. Because <coughs> you're you, going to create another design. Yes. So you've got a stripe going down the middle now. Definitely. So I would be tempted to do that. Yep. And then all you do is you're going to sew them together. Now, this is where I like to have a bit of a nest. So we had a nest in, um, I've got a chair that um, we've got in the garden, a big wag wagon wheel chair that's got a little hole in it and a little bird had made a nest in it. Oh, there. And, and I've got a very expensive designer blooming bird box and there's no birds in it at all. But it would lift the hole Aww. and then um, the fox got it and it was on the floor. Um, so oh, I, nice story. <laughs> Thanks. Story. Thanks for that. Yeah, was, Uplifting. I was, I was lovely. Yeah. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to place them right sides together 
and then when we do that we're looking for a nest and what I mean by that is you've got one fabric fold going one way yeah. and then the other fold going the other way and when you place them together they kind of lock it's like a little locking system and then you know if you've got that then you're um, going to get a really sharp intersection and then we're going to sew down them yeah Anne Hamilton says, great show as always. Love the shirt, John. Thank you, Anne. Maureen says, it's sunny here in Glossop in Derbyshire, so it might get down to you by lunchtime. Ooh, Thank you, Maureen. That's lovely. Let's hope so. My BBC weather thing says it's going to rain all day today. Mm. Yeah, I did have a look. It's literally like 100% chance. So. Message on our bottom. Ooh. Hi, John and Wendy. It's beautiful here in Suffolk. Oh, lovely. I'm going to weed Ooh. the neighbour's garden Ooh, soon, just nice. in case it rains. Oh, Trudy, that's the kind of neighbour you need, isn't yeah. it? I don't like weeding. My neighbour built me a, a hedgehog hotel, right, to have hedgehogs in the garden, then no hedgehogs moved in. And I came home the other day and went, oh, you've got hedgehogs in your hedgehog hotel. So I went running into the back garden to see the hedgehogs and he put a photocopy <laughs> of a picture of a hedgehog inside my hedgehog hotel. Oh my God, we did that when we were having our house renovated. Um, we uh, said to the, the the, the builder, oh my god, there's a leak, there's a leak upstairs, there's a leak upstairs. So he went running up there and we put a leak on the top of the <laughs> actual oh, leak. Oh, well, have hated you. Yeah, he, he, he did say something. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what happened yesterday? Oh my goodness, we were mortified. We've got um, a little, bird, we've got a table outside the window that we put bird food on. Yeah. The squirrel, and you know like they're, they're big, like big metal cages, aren't they, that you put the feed in? The yeah, squirrel okay, yeah. got on the table, he got hold of the bird feeder, and he took it up the garden. Oh. Full on up the garden. Yeah. It was like, whoa. They, I've, my, I have not got many squirrels. I've got uh, creating jackdaws that come oh, into my garden. They're huge, aren't they're they? Massive. They're beautiful, but they're massive. And, there's lo and one comes out, one circles and sees his food out, and then suddenly there's a whole flock of them. Mm. Uh, right, so the graphics are, at the moment, in the main graphic, it's the... Uh, book and in this graphic here it's the one that's on the wall. Folk Tales is about to sell out. You do need to check out your basket though for that one. I think that's my favourite. I would have said the, the pink one but actually I'm going to go with that. How beautiful is it? I'm not sure how many you would be able to make of it. No, no, no. Well no. you'd be able to make, f how many did you cut out? How 16. Many did you cut out? Yeah. Yeah, you cut out 16, you need four. Yeah. So be able to make four in that colourway. Yeah. Um, but you can see, because we did our little nesting trick, the seams, the intersections are spot on. Perfect. If they're not, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Because exactly. when you quilt them. And then literally, um, we've got to finish, so you just um, sash them. You sash them. Now, with, 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 the, with the sashing, and I've got this around the wrong way, um, I normally say have more than you need and then cut off the end. But because this needs to be absolutely exact, the... you you would cut them to what they say in the book and then right. just sash them. So you do sash, 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 and then long. It's so, so simple. Perfect. Lovely. Thank you very much. Now you're back in an hour I doing am. this quilt. Um, <laughs> but in the meantime, let's um, just recap the book first. Uh, we need to get more uh, Pam and Nikki Lynn top books, don't we? Because they're fabulous. Have you ever met them at any of the um, events? They're just adorable. Half the stock has gone when you've all checked out. I'll just have a quick look at this. $14.99. Now, also, if you haven't liked, well, not, not, not liked, but if you haven't chosen to have one of the bundles that we've had today, we've got uh, design roles in our pre-cut hour later. Or maybe you've got a design role you've already got from us in your stash at home and you're not knowing what to do with it and that book is perfect for you. $14.99. Then, bundle-wise... Oh, I thought that's gone, sorry. Right, okay. What it is, so many people got it in baskets. There are only a handful left, and there's loads you got it in the basket. So if you want it, you need to check out. You do get a metre of the vanilla, and you do get the design roll. All of that for 39 99 You obviously don't get the book in there. Okay, this one. Oh, this one. Six pounds off. Now, this is white. This it might not look white on your telly. This is white. A meter of white, plus you get your um, design roll here. Six pounds off that one. Yours will be in focus. Forty nine ninety nine. Never seen that design roll before, and that's what you can make with it. Lovely. And then we've got this one here, which is glorious as well. 
Again, another Riley Blake, another one with six pounds knocked off. Uh, you get white. I don't know why. Just take it. Single figures for this one. And how, how many left? Six. And how many people got it in their basket? Right, okay. There are six these left. Three people got it in their basket. So three unclaimed so far. 49.99. You do get your six pounds off, remember? So you get a meter and your design roll at 49.99. I've got a couple of bundles of fabric here. This one we think would work with the one that um, Wendy did. For, for your backing, this is. This is just if you haven't got any backing. It's not extra wide. It's your 44 inches. It's a uh, five meter. But, I mean, you don't have to buy it for that. You might want it for something else. Five meters of claret for 33 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely. It's a uh, rose and hubble, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, oh, it's only seven left. You all went on pre-order. And then this one here. Now, is this naturally seeded, this one? Oh, this is lovely, this. Naturally seeded cotton, this one. 33.99. Five metres. They've called it a backing bundle. You don't have to use it as a backing bundle. You can use it for whatever you want, because it is. You can make a dress as this if you want to. It is quilting weight cotton. But it's natural seeded, 100% cotton, that one. Lovely. Wadding. This way up. Uh, queen size, 90 by 108 inches. Oh, now, how, what's the finish? What's the size of that one? Wendy. Got, I'll look it up in the book very quickly. Uh, anyway, so can you see that? Oh, hang on, which way are you go? Which camera are you going on? That one. All right. Other waddings are available on the website. Yeah, this is the 80-20 one, 80% cotton, 20% uh, polyester. 32 99 I'm just wondering, because yours, your, yours looks quite big. Well, how big are those blocks, then? Uh, 50, Eight. 58 inch square. It it's a 58 inch square. Oh, it's plenty big enough. Plenty big enough. Sorry. I'm that looks bigger than yeah. 58 inches, doesn't it? Huh? What are you muttering about? That looks bigger than 58 inches. It does. Inches. I'll let her measure it anyway. We um, don't go anywhere. Because after the break, it's me with pre-cuts. So I'll see you in three minutes. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. 
It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! So this is how mean, this is how mean Hannah's feeling this morning, right? These are all sold out, but she still wants me to show it to you. Pre-order, it went on pre-order, right, so there's not, there are none left. Sorry about that. We will get them to get more in, I'll have a word with Ian later. Right, another thing that sold really well on pre-order is... Oh, so you told me completely, I thought we were going there first. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. When did you say that then? <laughs> 29 99 this is it. Right, that, if you want to make that, remember I was saying that, that um, quilt that Wendy did earlier, if you want to do it in black, white and red, this is, this is uh, 29 99 $29.99 this is. But there are fewer than 20 of these. Third, the stock went on pre-order. Now, this is the one that if you watched Delphine the other day doing her, uh, uh, was it called Jess and Tess? The cushions with the dogs on and the glasses. That was in black, white and red. This is what we use, right? The oh, OK, I'm going to undo it a little bit. Just see if I can. Oh, we've got so few, though, I'm worried that because I want you to, once I release that elastic band, that's it. That's it. It'll never go back together again. I'll show it to you like this, though. Twenty nine ninety nine, forty pieces you get there. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, if you've got the book, if you've got the Pam and Nikki Lynn top book. Oh, Sue, she's very happy. She says, "I've just heard Vixie's voiceover." Yeah, she's uh, she's very very. It was her birthday uh, on Monday. It was her birthday. I didn't realise she was thirty. I thought she was still in her early twenties. Anyway, she's very very happy. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, well, she's, uh, she's older than Hannah. That's what I don't really understand. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that in a rude way. Oh, OK, I, I've upset Hannah now, everybody just say no. So I won't, that's it now. I didn't say you look old. I said, you see, I met, when I first met Vix, I thought she was 16 and I didn't think I'd known her that long. That was all. Anyway. She's what? $29.99. Beautiful. I love the swirly patterns in there. Single figures on that one. Single figures on that one. Yeah, now, this next, the thing I'm going to show you next, the, the fat quarter bundle I'm going to show you next, is a brilliant, brilliant buy. But nobody in their right mind will buy it on the website because there's no picture. So you're being seeing this now for the first time. This is exactly what you get, but there's no picture on the website. We don't know where they've come from. We just know we love them. It's called an Irish pansy. I know a few of those, I tell you. Anyway, here we go. Let me move, let me make a bit of space on the desk here. These are the fabrics you can get. There's no picture on the website. You have to trust me. These are the fabrics you're going to get. You get 12 for 29.99. Okay. £2.49 a fat quarter. Design. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, 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 look. I wonder what this project was. Yeah, hang on. There's loads of them. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you get two solids. There's a or three, uh, two solids, two of the mixers, and they look at these gorgeous fabrics. So there's no picture on the website. This is the quilt collection. 
Old Rose, Mary Pink. I've never seen these. I love this one. I'm going to open this one next. I wonder where this has come from. Enchanted Garden. Oh, Elliot knows it. That's lovely. I love that one. Oh, here you go. Single figures already. I'm not surprised. Well, first of all, the price. But secondly, you're getting a real eclectic mix of... I'd love to see what an Irish pansy looks like made out of all this. I recognise this one, though. I don't know whose that one is. Because obviously they're fat quarters, so we've cut off the bit of selvage. That, um, that's a Moda one, though. Isn't that Seven Sisters? No, John... Three sisters, only three of them. No, it's not. It's No, it's Wildflower Woods by Yvonne Cook for Washington Street Studios. Yeah, sorry, we both, we both thought that was motor. Oh, look, and then that's, that's that from that same range there, isn't it? There you go. That's, that's Take Me Home Where I Belong, Country Roads, that one and that one. That's why we knew those ones. I love that. It's such an eclectic mix, isn't it? How many? Four left, four left, four left, four left. So you're getting 12 fat quarters. Do you say 12? For 12, 12 of them for 29.99. Oh, message on the bottom from Tricia. Good morning, John. I've never used a roll, so I've snuck in and bagged a blue one and the book. Woohoo. Woohoo, Tricia. From Warwickshire. Oh, hello, Tricia. How are you, my love? The blue one. Oh, from the, from before you mean? They're, they're nice. They're nice. They're all beautiful. They're all lovely. Um. Oh, a quick heads up, for Helen. Morning, John. I'm so sorry, but I missed. If Fix has had her baby. Oh, Helen. Helen. Yes. She. She. Uh, the tenth. She's not. Uh, yes. Hang on. So she had it on. Uh, she had Maisie Delilah on the tenth. She weighed about seven and a half pounds, and. She won't mind, Vix won't mind me saying, she, she had a difficult birth, but now she's just, she, Kieran and Maisie are just idyllically happy. They're just fantastic. So yes, she's had a little girl and she's more, she's so happy, I can't tell you. She is complete. And it was Vix's birthday on Monday as well. So she'll have been spoilt rotten by Kieran all day Monday, won't she? Oh, they went out for posh dinner. Who looked after baby? Already, a babysitter already. <laughs> Oh, she had scallops because she sent a picture. And, uh, she was, uh, oh, is that why she was asking about expressing milk? <laughs> Sorry. That's a machine, isn't it? It goes like that. Oh, oh, I know the biggest news, not about Vix or anything. Do you remember I said about Mr Ripley yesterday? I watched the whole of Secret Life of the Zoo last night. He wasn't even mentioned. Mr Ripley did not even make a cameo appearance yesterday. So I don't know what happened to him and Nancy. No. Right, it's a chameleon. <laughs> right, come on, let's get on. Uh, let me see what these messages are first. Um, Kate says, good morning, John. Listen to you whilst working from home. You're brighting up what appears to be a dull day. Got very wet on Reggie's tootles. Ooh. <laughs> I bet you're, you're, yeah, anyway. Your Reggie's, uh, the, what, what, what? Next. Folk. You mean, you mean the big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Folk tale. There's only four of these left now. There's only four of these left. Now this is what Wendy was doing her demo on in the jelly roll. This is it now in the layer cake. Because it's Moda, we can call it that, you see. Now, I don't want to take it all out because I've only got four. Oh, hang on. Wait there. You can have a look at that earlier. Oh, it's not a very nice picture. I do apologise. Right, ready? Yeah. Are right, we ready? Look, beautiful. This is what was in that. If you bought the folktale design roll earlier, this is what you'll have in it. We sell these, Elliot. Yeah. Because the ladies were concerned that I licked my fingers. Roxana. Maybe a little pouch with some in, but because we sell these, I have to wear these at the moment because we don't sell the ones Roxana sent me, that's all. 
Look, look up, isn't that a lovely colour? $33.99. See, that, that, that colour bit there, that colour range is exquisite. So. We will not be getting this in again, so if you want it today, oh, get it while you can. Caramel. Lovely pale blue. It's not working. There you go. Beautiful. Two left, two left, two left, two left. Okay, we'll do some other layer cakes while we're here. Yeah, yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Now I know they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Okay, let's have a look at the fabrics in here then. So this one is Yesterday by Moda. This is your very, very traditional, really, really traditional colours in this one. Cherries. Cherries doing good. Little Rue, Reuben Rue's doing well. I've yet to meet all these babies. Who was in there? Uh, Elliot's not seen his cousin's baby or his best friend's baby yet. But, um, well, no, we have to stick to the rules. That's just what, what it is, isn't it? Look, nice. Very, very traditional, earthy tones in there. That's nice, isn't it, that one? Very autumnal, thank you. Just as we're coming into summer. Oh, well, it's oh, they're all very. Why, what's wrong with everybody? They're all very defensive. Oh, yes, you can make it now, do it for autumn. Ooh. Not offensive, defensive. Now you are. <laughs> $31.99. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah, Dina Delight. No, Dina Designs. I don't know why I called her Dina Delight. Then we love Dina Designs. So we've got the budgies. Oh, look at this one. I'll open them out for you now. Oh, that's a nice bundle. $15.99 for six. Um, okay. Five, not six. I don't know why I said six then. Five. <laughs> So I don't know why I said six then, because I counted five out. 3.19 of that quarter, that is. Beautiful. I'll open a couple of those out. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Oh, but this is a fat quarter. And also, if you're new to us, you think, what is a fat? Somebody messaged you saying, what's a fat quarter? They take a metre of fabric or a yard of fabric in America, and they cut it down... This way, and then they cut it across that way, and you get four pieces, and they're all fat quarters. And then if you cut those in half, you get fat eights. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, did we not have the whole collection of this one? Oh, we didn't have pre-cuts of the collection. These are the ones we did ourselves, yeah. Look at this one. This is Anna's face. It's got budgies in it. She loves a budgie. Lovely, isn't it? Adelaide Grove Parakeet Parade, this one's called. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay, I've got a picture here from Karen. Just managed to tune in. I have a newborn baby girl keeping me busy. Oh, and spotted it using the Moda Folktale fabrics. I'm in the middle of trying to make a queen size quilt using this. I've only made two cock quilts before, so it's certainly a challenge. Me and my little one love watching the show. Oh, Karen, that's beautiful. Oh, oh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, good luck to you and your little one. No name for the little one yet. No, no name for the little one. Okay, 
Daisy May, that's this one, isn't it? Right, I'll count properly this time. We've, we've cut this one. Oh, yes, because I love this one. That's one of my favourite, that fabric there. Yeah, now loads of these, the fabrics have sold out, so this could be your only way of getting some of these fabrics. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Daisy May, didn't she go out with that boxer on um, Love Island? Wasn't she called Daisy May? Oh, excuse me. Molly May it was, not Daisy May. And she went out with, uh, what was the boxer she went out with? Fury, was it? No, no, no. His uncle was a famous boxer and he was going to be a fox boxer, wasn't he? And I thought he was very pretty. £31.99. Some of these are beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. But I do love these. I love, 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 love that print. Farm fresh. Simple times. Elliot. Elliot's just saying he'd like a shirt out of these. Oh, now, Hannah, I got a message yesterday from somebody saying um, that they thought I should make a shirt out of... I know it came through on there, but I also got an, an, um, a Twitter message yesterday saying I was watching and I really think you should make a shirt out of the fruit cocktail, which is the one you chose, wasn't it? Little ditzy flowers on that one. Yeah, that's nice as well, isn't that? lovely and fresh, that one. At £31.99, you get those for. Red and black design roll, yes. Eight of these left now. Eight of these left. Uh, Molly May went out with Tommy Fury. There you go, I was right, what's Fury? Thank you, who's that from, sorry? Emma in the, near me. Oh no, Emma in West Midlands. Emma in the West Midlands. Oh, is it our Emma? No, she'll still be in bed. Because my director, Emma's not in today, you so see. I've had to make do with Elliot today. Pardon? Oh, he's muttering. He's, he's ignoring me. That's good when your director ignores you, isn't it? Okay, yeah, the, the, the jelly roll, the, oh, is there another one or do you mean the Pam and Nicky Linto one? Yeah, Pam and Nicky Linto one. Okay, so here we go, I'm just showing this, the Pam and Nicky Linto book again here. 14, 19, there's 15 patterns in there, it's a pound a pattern. And they've got a message from, oh, Kathy, it's my favourite one. One of my favourite books, Tutti Frutti, Moda Beach Road and Rose and Hubble Ivory. Loving the show, Cathy. Oh, Cathy, I love your quilt. Isn't it adorable? I pointed that one out and we went through the book, didn't I? Hang on, Tutti Frutti. Here it is, here it is. Wendy, uh, Wendy couldn't be bothered doing the whole quilt. She just made a cushion cover out of it. Oh, now look, oh, isn't it lovely? It's really weird, isn't it? How, yes, it, 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 the white crosses really jump out on Cathy's, but in here it just looks like white stripes, doesn't it? That is beautiful, beautiful. It's got texture. All oh, back on the book, $14.99. I've got one. This is it, pure delight, yeah? Five inch charm pack. Now it's still in the, how many have I got? Oh, I've only got nine of these. Oh, no, I, can show you the, I can show you the fabrics here, look, so I don't have to open it. Beautiful though, aren't they? 15.99, Riley Blake, five inch squares, you get 42 of them. Oh yes, these would be lovely for a cathedral window. Okay, I'll show you. Go. 
Such pretty colours, aren't they? Look. Blessed, laugh, sunshine, fun. They're all the things Hannah thinks of me, apparently. Clamshells. Then you go through the reds. Is the writing in reds? Where's the writing? Oh yeah, oh, oh that's on a soft little pink. Look, that's nice. You got your pink flowers. Little flies, Elliot would say. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Multi oh sorry, I'll take it right as a shot there. Beautiful. Now, <coughs> I just said, didn't I, it could be lovely to make a, use those in a cathedral window. Well, I've got a cathedral window pattern here. It's a Susie Duncan one. Now, it's a simplified version. She was in, she made it in the, when we did the new range of Liberty, didn't she? She didn't use charm packs, but you can do, you just need five inch squares, I think, don't you? For the windows, inside the windows. Oh, actually, her squares are three and a half inch. They're smaller than, um, I thought. Yeah, very nice. And lots of instructions. And the pictures all correspond. It'll tell you when to look at the different picture there. Nine ninety nine. Susie Duncan Cathedral Window Instructions. Oh. 9.99 that pattern. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two purples. Wrong one. Must be that one over there then. Here you go, yep. Yeah. So you get Michael Miller, two florals, and then this one, is that a gradiente? I think it is, isn't it? And then that's your splodge mixer. £12.49, Michael Miller, Michael Miller, gradiente, Rose and Hubble. It's called Janelle. Janelle. I think we did this. I remember the, this bundle. I, we made either a hot water bottle cover with it. So, yeah, it was a hot water bottle cover, wasn't it? So you get a fat quarter of the pink. You get a fat quarter of the white. You get a fat quarter of the gradiente. And you get a fat quarter of the Rosen Hubble blender. Mixer, mixer, mixer. There you go. Graham says, morning, John. We haven't got the So Easy binding clips on this show, I'm afraid, Graham. They're on pre-order. Are they coming up then? Oh, oh, they were from the last hour. They, they, they work like um, hair, hair clips, like the old-fashioned hair clips, Graham. I haven't got them in there. It's a bit like we're using a, a wonder clip, but they're slightly longer. Was that the one I was just about to pick up with the flowers and the butterflies? Yeah. Okay, so that goes there. Oh, I haven't done that yet, actually. I'll push that over there. Right, then, this is nice, I like this fabric. That one and that one, and then you get the beautiful. So you get three florals, and you get a rose and hubble, is it just called light green? Lime, the lime we've got is a bit limeier than that, isn't it? Oh, that comes up in the... Oh, no, that... Oh. Yeah. With chocolate inside. 
Elliot's talking about the lime hard, the boiled sweets with the lime on the outside and dark chocolate on the inside. What's they called? Oh, chocolate limes. <laughs> Duh. Twelve ninety-nine. Elliot likes the wine. Do they sell them at Greg's? Mm -hmm. The only place Elliot goes to shop these days, Greg's. Twelve ninety-nine. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, well, the best Dudley book next. Now this is back in stock. Eight ninety nine. Now there are six projects in here from Beth Studley. Very good value. In fact, they're all here. Look, one, two, three, four, five, or oh, five, six. Now, <laughs> we had a bit of a contretemps yesterday because where is it again? I swore that I had never seen this pro... No. Oh, it's not even in the book anymore. Right, I swore that I'd never seen the reversible trinket bowls before. Never... I said, oh, I've never seen these, never seen these. Anyway, they found it on YouTube with me and Catherine Wright and these bowls. And Emma took a picture of a bowl the wrong way around. I don't remember it at all. Mind you, I have to say, I said to Hannah yesterday, when we came off the show yesterday, I was getting my lunch, I got my phone, and I said to Hannah, I've obviously had a shopping spree, and I don't drink, so it can't be, you know, like a late night drunken Amazon shopping spree. I got home, right, I've only ordered a dressing gown, I've ordered toilet brushes, I've ordered shampoo, I've ordered moisturiser, I've ordered the seven things I've ordered, a sprinkler for my garden, Oh, the family in the attic ordered them. Of course. <laughs> anyway, the sprinkler's fabulous. There's four settings. Anyway, 8 99 Shall I tell you about this? Though? Let me tell you about this, though. Pit yeah, I'll get home today and it won't be there. It'll be back, back in the attic when I get home tonight. Pitcher garland. Reversible chinky bowls, which I did with Catherine White. Right, even? I don't remember. Anyway, petaled pin cushion. Have I done this one? No, I've not done that one. It's lovely, just use up little tiny bits of your stash for that one. Hexy needle case. Then I like this one, the curvy coaster set, because the four... I didn't buy any coasters. Oh, I put my mug and I put biscuits, biscuits and biscuits. Because I wouldn't have any friends round. Just be me. And then this booklet, now we've done this, uh, this little book cover with Janice, but we're not from this book. We did it as a little um, pattern on its own. And the, your pencil or your pen works as the clasp of the bag, so you're never ever without a pen. Oh yeah, 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 okay. So if, if you want to buy the notebook cover, there you see, the one that Janice did, the notebook cover is £4.50 on its own, right? Same pattern in here, but you're getting the whole book with other projects, five other projects for £8.99. And that's lovely, love little book. Okay. Oh, now these... This is, and I've not got them individually today, have I? Just got them as the bundle. Just the bundle. So it started off with Annie Sewing Weekend Sewing. Then you get 10% off these by buying them together. Then they brought out more Weekend Sewing. So there's 45 projects in total in here for $16.99. I know. I'll just show you this. We'll start with this one, Weekend Sewing. I'm going to, oh no, I'll start at the front. Right, up. Uh, Flower pocket pin cushion, so cosies. Um, the sewing machine cover with your templates and everything. Then you've got your sewing machine organizer pad, 
You've got your ironing board caddy. You've got your thread spool pin cushion. You've got your tricolour table topper. You've got your Daisy Fields table set. Look, all these instructions are fantastic, aren't they? For all the pictures. Summer fun mug rugs. Would you? Hannah would choose the ladybird on that one. And she'd make lots of them. All your templates are in here. Then this is Hannah's. Bright block pot holders. She loves a pot holder. Chef. Microwave cozies. I've got one of these in my dressing room. Who made it though? Fresh bread bag. Fl uh, oh, now we made these uh, a couple of weeks ago with Jude. Oh, single figures on the bundle again. It always sells out when we bring it to you. Change purse. Cute. Okay, that's book one, but you're also getting book two. You're also getting book two with 25 projects in. I'll be a bit quicker on this one. Patchwork baskets. Quilted drawstring bag. Oh, I'm not going there. I don't understand those. Birds of a feather pink cushions. Now, uh, this is, I please ask you to be careful with this one. Do not put your pink cushion on top of a hot mug of tea. That's all I'm saying. Armchair sewing organiser, like an old-fashioned antimacassar. Sleepy turtle pin cushion. Flowers on the vine. Uh, fabric bowl and pan covers. You can make those to match your uh, pot holders, couldn't you? Then you've got your have your cake and eat it too. Always. Alice and Mary and Mary Nelson brought in about 100 um, macaroons yesterday. When we came off after the show, there were three left on the plate. Insulated beverage cosy, then Elliot as the rest. Retro flower patch pillow. Spring delight. Look, Eden the elephant. Has he got a tie on? Ah, oh. It's what? No, the Highway family at the Chester Zoo, we don't allow them to wear ties. Zippered to-go pouch. <laughs> Bookmark projects. I'm now a trained zoologist, having watched the, the Secret Life of the Zoo. Sixteen ninety nine. I was so disappointed that Mr. Ripley wasn't shown yesterday. Oh no. They built it up because it was the cliffhanger the day before when Nancy was going, don't you come anywhere near me. Presumed it was going to be the big story of this week, didn't they? Uh, I just bought the red, black and white designer roll to make things to go in my white camper van with red and black trims. Oh, Frankie, that's a posh. Oh, do you know what? One of the lodges, you know, I always said there's lodges in the next village to mine. One's just come up for sale. It's £305,000. Why are we getting one of those? It's on a floodplain as well, but that's by the by. No, they do lift. When the, when the floods, all, they all lift up like that. They've all got hydraulics in them. Yeah, anyway. Folktale Charm Pack is sold out. But we've got some folktale fat quarters that we cut. There we go. Oh, with, uh, uh, with two of the... Th oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, you get five. So you get four folktales and one Rose and Hubble. <gasps> On the zoo face, there's a Facebook page. Right, on the Zoo Facebook page, 2nd of March, it's all about the chameleons. Graham, what you, I don't know what you're... Oh, easy grip, clear grip. Oh, Graham, I don't know. Have we got you on today's show? And I'll be able to tell you. 
Yeah. Is it on today's show? Oh, okay, it's is that thing. Okay, so what that is, it's it's you can put it on the bottom of rulers and ev- yes, it's a big it's a big sheet of clear plastic that's sticky back and you can put it on the back of rulers. I think you can also put it on your machine to for easy um like Teflon glide as well. Right, 1649. So if you did miss out on the folk tale mode uh, layer cake or um, jelly roll the other day, uh, the other day earlier. 1649, we cut these, we cut these. 1649. Moda Folktail Fat Quarter Pack. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. If you just want a little taster. The chameleon is Mr. Ripley. The chameleon is Mr. Ripley at Chester Zoo. And his girlfriend, Nancy, we don't know if she didn't like him. She came from the zoo in Paris and she arrived and she was, didn't, she was like, don't you come near me. So we don't know what, but he moved faster than they'd ever seen him move before. Only because his last girlfriend, he took a month to walk from that side of the uh, thing to that side and he got to her and he touched her tail and she dropped down dead. I know. So they were a bit worried. They were a bit worried that Nancy... Anyway, this one, he was like... No, no, she was old. Got a photo from Bev. Hi, John. This is my new summer bag made with Moda Folktail fabric and PU bought from Sewing Street. The PU is so easy to sew from Bev. Oh, Bev, that's nice. Lovely. Can't see any of the room though. I'm a bit disappointed. We like to see the room. I like the way you've jammed it in top, into the door to stop it falling down though. It's a lovely bag, Bev. Yellow pistachio fat quarter. Stars in yellow. Then you've got baby stars in pistachio. You've got cream or ivory. And then you've got that lovely soft green that we had earlier. 6 99 for four. And, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, maybe not. I thought it... Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous colour. Less than two pounds of that quarter. Lovely, six ninety nine. You do get more than that. You get all four of those fat quarters for your six ninety nine. Right now, the next thing I'm going to show you, and this book sold out. When we did it, this book completely and utterly sold out. The textile artist applique art. You need chiffons. You need some scrap. Basically, anything you've got in your scrap basket, but to create the really, really, really lovely look, you need some organza and some chiffons and just layer them up to create beautiful, beautiful colours. It's a really beautiful, inspiring book, this. $17.99. Let me just show you. Now, there's, uh, there's, uh, if I remember rightly, there's no, no actual... No, there's no en- there's not any templates in it, but you can trace them off the pictures. You can just trace them off the pictures. So many techniques in here that you're going to use. Right, materials and equipment. Then we've got all the different things there. Six of eight, bro. Is it? Feels like longer ago than that. Dawn. Dawn, we did it with, didn't we? Yeah. Couldn't remember then. Dawn will be watching. Right, so what you literally do is you just create and layer up all sorts of different... Oh, you see? Oh, there are some templates. I do... I take that back. But look, aren't they gorgeous? Just create... You need lots of different fabrics like stripes and florals and chiffons and organzas and organdies. You can really create beautiful textile art. Bit different look, shop fronts. 
It's a vegetable shop, obviously. Oh, it's a split screen ice cream, that one. Allium al fresco. I thought Allium was onions. Anyway, farm shop, look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, inspiration in here. Oh, look, cupcake. Kathy, you can use the cupcakes from your panel of the week. Tea time treat. Oh, but yeah, but look at this, right? It's got pure lace as the cream in the scone. What's oh, making me hungry? Look, just such a clever little book. Look, how you can create your own art here. What's the matter, Elliot? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, so Elliot went to Mrs. Macadamia Nuts House yesterday to do filming. Not, not for social visit, he was filming. And she made him cheese scones. Homemade. Were they still warm? Oh. Fresh out the oven. Yes. <laughs> uh, Hannah's just said, but Ellie, oh, hedgehog. Hannah's just said, that's not what Hannah said. H Hannah just said to him, how did you know, how do you know, how did you know what time to make them for? Because weren't you a bit late, Elliot? The story is, Elliot was sitting here to do his day's work and he came running into the gallery after we'd gone on air and um, said, I'm going now. And, and Hannah went, you're leaving already? He went, yeah, I'm supposed to be at Mrs. Macadamia Nuts and I forgot. He got there there and they had a successful morning of filming and they had cheese scones. Still fly. And she had homemade Branston pickle as well. Well, it won't be called Branston pickle, will it? Because that's a trade name. A vegetable, fruity, I don't know what you'd call it actually, but a pickle, anyway. Oh, oh there are some templates, look, there you go. For the Cupcake Cafe. Cottage Garden. Hen House. Harbour Scene. Index. That's such a gorgeous book at 17 99 as well. Abigail's book is gorgeous, says Ange. Lots of inspiration, uh, inspiration and I'm hoping to use it at some point. Yeah, but Ange, I can imagine just looking at it because it's lovely, isn't it? Okay, moving on. Big fat quarter bundle here. Oh, right. Look, 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 look. No! $49.99, two payments of $49.99. This is what happens because don't, we don't work with Elliot every day, you see. Elliot's just, um, he doesn't know our little foibles, does he? No. Anyway, look at these, these. Hannah did say, that she did. Yes, she did. Well, listen to the tape later. She did. How many are in here? Sorry. 30. 30 fat quarters in here. Oh, these are lovely. Look, so you've got gingham with flowers. You've got big flowers. You've got little white flowers. You've got aubergines, tomatoes, artichokes, watering cans. It's because it's that thick black country accent of yours. Uh, then we've got the lovely crosses. No, of Elliot's. Look at the vegetables, carrots and aubergines and tomatoes. I found out yesterday that tomatoes are no good for gastric reflux. I didn't know that. Anyway, then we've got little crosses. We've got the king. Elliot doesn't like, oh, look at that. He loves this, but he doesn't like tomatoes because they pop. Don't know what that means. Now, we know that's not the truth. Look, I'm, I'm still going. It's a fabulously big bundle, this one. And it's lovely and fresh. The colours are fantastic.
Oh, that's nice. Look, look at that one. There's still another row to go. Yeah, look. I do love that print. Water cans and then your stripes. Oh, isn't that lovely? So if you buy that today, it'll be $49.99 plus your post packaging, unless you've already bought something else and there's no more post. And then uh, you charge $49.99 tonight and then $49.99 in a month's time. And then that's it paid for. Some of these fabrics are available in my next hour on my own, are the floral fabrics later. If you want watering cans, the only way to get that now is in, the, in this pre-cut. Oh, hang on. Hello all. Is it? Oh, sorry, am I reading out? Hello all. John has great animal magnetism. Alfie and my other kitty Inky enjoy watching John. They have good taste from Louise in Dublin. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. I wonder if he's buying anything. Oh, hang on. Was it Inky? Alfie? Was that Alfie or Inky, do you think? Oh, was there a cutting mat out on? The, oh, yeah, he's sitting on the cutting mat. Look, I didn't see that. Oh, oh, well, you see, I keep saying I'm saying I'm not going to get another cat, but maybe I should. Four. I nearly got a family of four, and Hannah was very worried. The thing is, now I've ordered my new back door. Well, almost ordered my new back door and front door. I don't want to be putting new um, cat flaps in them. <laughs> That'll be a shock for the family in the attic, won't it? When I get new doors and they can't get out in or out. <laughs> yeah, mist, the, the sprinkler has four settings, mist or direction. Oh, look at this, these are gorgeous. There's so many of them in here, look. It's all moda, all good quality. Fantastic. Right, moving on. Pug, I thought this had sold out. Oh, there were two of these left. Two people obviously didn't check out. Now, this is a panel. It's not by the half meter. So if you buy two, there are only two, they won't come joined together. Carol says, good morning all. Good morning, Carol. Hi, Carol. There's only two of those, though. That will go. That will go. Oops. Oh, okay. I've not seen this one before. I'm going to have to lift to hold it up. Debbie, Shaw and Vix have seen this one. I haven't. Oh, I see that. Hannah kept saying it's got the romantic couple on the roof and I thought she was being sarcastic. It's a lovely panel though, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> Hannah's saying... You can embroider a, a speech bubble on of what they're saying to each other, right? No, no, it, she's got such, she's got, she's not got a romantic look on her face. She's got a, you did what? Yes, or why are we sitting on top of your camper van? Next time, can you bring deck chairs? Yes, where's the ladder to get down? Yeah, the drink's all the way over here. That's what it is. Where's my drink? You promised me cocktails. Oh. Is it crashed into the palm tree, do you think, there? Lovely. Elliot, which hours are you packing away today, just so we know? Because right. uh, Emma normally likes to do all the difficult ones. Right, here we go, another, po po uh, not a poster, it's not a poster. Oh, they've got off it now then. Oh, it's different, it's different. Oh no, there you go, there you go. It's a pink. Same table. Oh, this is a bit eerie. Same table of drinks. No, but it's a different coloured van. So maybe it's blue on one side and pink on the other. 
Then you've got your caravanette there. And then you've got your burger bar. Oh, hang on, small, 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 small. Oh, that's a... D <sighs> We well, wouldn't part there, but also. The water's here. Oh, well, they're all parked a little bit close to the water, aren't they? Lovely cushion fronts, wouldn't they? Or bag fronts, really lovely bag front, I think. I'm seeing a Lisa Lamb bag made out of those, yeah. Oh, Hannah's seeing a cushion in her conservatory. Oh, that's a good idea. Blinds for the caravan, says Elliot. Okay, I haven't got much left to show you now. I want to, oh, it's, oh, no, it's the end of the hour, that's why. It's gone quickly, isn't it? I've got one more book. 11 Easily Pieced Projects, Sensational Quilts for Scrap Lovers, Colour and Cutting Strategies. 23 99 this one. Let's have a quick look. Judy Gautier. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, look at the projects in here. So you've got frontal boundaries, true north, precious metal, split screen, argyle sweater, sleeny, sle no, sleepy tiny teepee town, the knit stitch, fractured four patch, sunrise, sunset, aerial view and circle gets the square. Oh, blimey, that's nice. They're unusual sizes, these. She uses different sizes. So that's the keystone block. Really brilliant for using up your pre cuts or scraps. Lovely. It's all about different colours. Let's talk about piecing curves. It's all the things you're frightened about, isn't it? C matching colours and, and curves and things. Here we go. Frontal boundaries. Assorted scraps, lots of it. Oh, lots of instructions, loads of instructions. Then True North again, lots of instructions. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Nicholas Ball, you know, the um, improv quilter. It sort of looks a little bit like his, doesn't it? Why not? Sleepy, tiny, teepy town. The knit stitch. Oh, here you go. Princess says, you used to be able to park near the water's edge on the beach at Western Superman. Yeah, but the, that's because, isn't the water about five miles away? You have to drive all the way down the beach, I suppose. A lot of few drivers got into trouble. Not sure if they still allow it. I haven't been to the beach in Western Superman. The studios weren't, weren't were in, a vid, in a village further away. Wendy says, love listening to you wittering on like a lovely old pair of slippers. Wendy. Thank you. No, I wouldn't take offence to that. That's lovely. That's a really lovely message, that one. Well, yeah, that's nice. Aerial view. You see, like, like you, Elliot, I'm built for comfort, not for speed. So like an old pair of slippers. Well, you have to. You like, he's like a bouncy castle these days. We're going to go for a break now before Elliot punches me. Oh, we won't fight because little Paul always says I'd win. Little Paul said if he and I ever had a fight, I would win, hands down. So, Elliot, just remember that. Uh, I'm not, I don't do fighting. I don't do fighting at all. Don't like it. Don't like it. Makes me feel, makes me feel sick. I will see you in three minutes from now with Wendy Orlando. We're going to be making... Oh, it's not there anymore. We're going to be making the sunflower quilt. I'll see you then. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Christine, is that message for me or for Elliot? Don't know if it's for me or Elliot, that one. Anyway, let's have a look at this quilt because it's gorgeous. There it is, here it comes, there it comes, there it is, there it is, there it is. I've got two bundles. I have got two bundles to make. They're two. Oh, okay, now the image on the web is both exactly the same, one with a circle saying it's different, so watch carefully now. So I've got this one first, which is the one we unfolded in prep, which has got half a metre of your black crosshatch, half a metre of your blue flowers with your bumblebees, half a metre of your blue fabric with your butterflies, your Wendy Orlando instructions. So what we call this one? Blue. We call this one blue, right? And then this is your panel. So is now is this the one on the wall? No. No, it's not this one. It's not this one on the wall. So this is the other version. This, are you, are this one you're making, this one we're demoing on, right? Brand new collection. Now, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't want the whole kit, I've got this fabric in the, oh. This panel is only now in these kits. They've all sold out on pre-order. So if you want this panel, the only way you can get this panel is in this kit. Yep. So let me show you what the fact, there you go, the fabrics come with it are this. So you get your cross hatch, black and white. You get your blue flowers on white with your little wasps. Oh no, they'll be bumblebees, won't they? Bumblebees. And then you get your blue with your um, butterflies. You get your instructions from Wendy Orlando. 
Okay, and then you get this panel. So now this panel isn't the one that's on the wall. This is the panel that Wendy's going to work with uh, in the demonstration, and it's only available now in this bundle. Oh, oh, the panels are the same. Oh, I thought the panels were different. Oh, I thought you said one was light and one was dark. Oh, you've confused me. Okay, sorry, sorry, my bad. Wendy confused me earlier. She said one was light and one was dark. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. So you can't buy the panel at all. You can't buy the panel from either of them at all. I do apologise. Right. Right. Okay, so that's this one. So I will just take all of that in. So they've both got, so I do apologise, they've both got the same panel in the middle. They've both got the same instructions, but they have a metre and a half of different fabric. So in this bundle, which they call blue, you get the butterflies, the little flowers, and the gingham, uh, the crosshatch. Right, then the one that's on the wall that Wendy's already made, same panel, same instructions, but different... No... No. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody at home. Yeah, no, hang on. You've got fabrics and... Right, hang on. You can speak, Wendy. Right, OK. So that one yeah. should be with there. Oh. And then the, and then the cross check should be here. Right. We should... Right. Right. What you're getting at home is what you're seeing on the table here, not what you've been sent. OK, so, th so just so you know, you, you won't make exactly what is on the wall or exactly what's on here. But it doesn't matter, not being negative, but it's the same technique. So this bundle, this bundle, this bundle has got the panel, the same panel, the same instructions, but then you get half a metre of the white fabric with the sunflowers on it. You get half a metre of the sunflowers itself and this is where the mix-up is, and then half a metre of the crosshatch with sunflowers on. So on the one on the wall, you've got this one, you've got this one, but you haven't got that one. And this one over here, so basically the butterflies and the white fabric are swapped it's over. Yeah, because in this one you get the butterflies. And that and that. Sorry about this, everyone at home. Right, OK, but this is what you're going to be getting at home. So whatever you see on the table here is what you're going to be getting. So this one is called gold. This one is called gold. And in the gold one, you'll get that panel, those instructions. You'll then get this, this and this fabric. Right. And then if you buy the blue, you're going to get the panel and these three fabrics and the instructions. I've got, if you, if you want, if you desperately want to do what Wendy's, de Wendy's done, we've got the rest of the collection coming in the next hour, so you can almost buy half of each of the fabric that's not the right one in the bundle. I do apologise, I do apologise, I do apologise. No. Okay, so, so this, is this is gold, this is gold, this is blue. I'm going to keep them both in. Blue. Gold, just so you know. So if you want to buy uh, such a brilliant price, such a beautiful fabric, it sort of doesn't matter. But I just want you to make sure that is what you're getting if you buy blue. That is what you're buying if you buy gold. So now you're going to be demonstrating with a mixture of the two. Oh, now, yes. Yeah. OK. <laughs> right. OK. So off we go then. But that, that's brilliant because you have got the fabrics in the next hour. Yes, exactly. So if there's one that you desperately want, in you, so if you buy the gold one, but you definitely want the blue butterflies, you'll be able to buy those in the next hour. Yeah, and also, you, I know you sell a lot of the, the blender fabrics as well. If you didn't want it quite so busy, yes, just yeah. put, like, maybe just do the plain blender. Because yeah. mm -hmm. um, there's so many different colours on the web that you're going to get one that matches. Of course. Um, yes, so that's brilliant. And although there are pictures, they have been designed around this, it's basically to do with that centre quilt, uh, the centre panel. panel. So if you have managed to get hold of the centre panel, then it doesn't matter what fabrics you get because the instructions are generic. Right, so okay, it tells right. you how to cut. You, uh, it just so happens that we, I was able to load the, the picture into yeah. um, the software. So that's, that's why you've got it. Um, so what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to have a mixture of both then. So this one, all we're going to do, you've got the butterfly 
you haven't got this one. So you've got the butterfly and that, and then you've got the cross check. Um, but they're all beautiful. I mean, it doesn't really matter yeah. what you put with what. It, it's the whole theme about this was the sunflowers. Yes, that's, exactly. That's the prominent exactly. thing, and and that's you know it's one of my favourite favourite flowers. So what we're going to do, what I'd like to concentrate today on, is taking everyone right back to basics because very often when I'm demonstrating, half of it's already done. And for some people, it's quite daunting when they get it home and they think, oh my goodness, where do I start? Yeah. So the first thing that you're going to do is look at your instructions and you're just going to, you will get the same copy as John, I've just got one that this was my, uh, my draft one. It just tells you how to cut everything out. Now that's really, really important with this because the centre panel here is pivotal. If you don't get the centre panel the right size, nothing's going to fit around it. Okay. Uh, and that's why I'm surprised you haven't mentioned it to me yet, John. Um, the one here yeah. <laughs> and the one here, so these two are different sizes. You yeah. haven't noticed that, have you? Because normally, I, you know me, I like everything yeah, 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 to yeah, be yeah. all square. Uh, and I sat absolutely ages trying to work it out. And because of the way the panel was designed, I wanted to make sure you got everything in the panel. So that one and these ones are a different size. Okay. So just be aware of that. It's all in the instructions mm -hmm. for you, but just be aware when you're putting them together. And what I like to do is I also like to give you, I like to give you um, things to follow. So the one here, uh -huh. This one at the top here has actually got the fabric. So you, you would label your fabrics. You'd cut them all out and label them A, B or C. But then you'll notice that you have an A1 and a B1 here. Mm -hmm. That's just to show you that they are the increased, what, the ones that are bigger in size. Um, so it shows you where to place them on the panel. Having said that, you can place them anywhere you want along here because they will all fit. But I just like to place them centrally. So okay. if you want to go rogue and place them where you like, yep. that's fine. So Georgina says, morning, John, team and everyone. I love sunflowers. My late hubby used to grow them with his grandchildren. So it's become an emblem for our family. That's nice, isn't it? And then Alice Mary says, the small sunflowers look like pepperoni pizza, so I'm making me hungry. <laughs> Alison has got some imagination, what? hasn't she? She I has she. got some imagination, Which I tell you. Which ones does she think? I have no idea, but she has the got... The small sunflowers look like pepperoni pizzas. Either she's in another world, she is, or she, she don't go to her house for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be eating sunflowers. Yeah. But it is, it, when, when I was sent the fabric to, to make something with, I, it, it really did resonate with me because the sunflower is very close to my heart because it was my mum's favourite flower. Oh. So it was like, yes, I've got something. Um, so I've made that, you know, with her in mind. And also, my dad loved butterflies, so it's kind of everything oh. for me. It's just a very special quilt for me. But yeah, the first thing you're going to do is once you've cut out all your fabrics, and I would just show you here, so this is what you're going to get, but we, we now know in a slightly different colour yeah, way. Yeah. So you're going to get your standard squares, and then we're going to get this different shape one there, and then we're going to get our sand, standard squares and the different shape. As I say, oh, there's two, so the standard squares and two different shapes then. Because you've got down the side. Yeah. It is, because... <laughs> Because of the panel, I didn't want to lose any of the picture, so mm -hmm. I had to make it no, fit. No, 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 I think it works, so it's and, fine. And as you know, yeah. doing something like this is all about your seam allowance and your mass. And I was sitting there scratching my head, and thanks to Rebecca Reed, because I was sitting there thinking, it just won't fit. And then I thought, what would Rebecca do? Yeah. And she would make it fit, she so delegate. I made it fit. <laughs> she get someone else to do it. <laughs> so she made it fit, so I made it fit. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that's what you're going to do. You're going to cut all of your fabrics out, yeah. and then you just lay them to one side. And all of the measurements are in the instructions, are they? They're all in, the, they're in there. Okay. And as I say, on there, on the chart, I've actually labelled it B1 and A1, so that you know that's where they are. But as long as you put them somewhere along that row, yeah. um, it's not going to matter. I just like everything to be symmetrical. Now, this is the one that I wanted to get to um, more than anything. And I'm just going to move this out of the you way. manage. Oh, yes. I had my weed to bix. Yeah. Um, um, Lynn, I'm just going to say, Lynn, thank you so much for your love. I'll just say to Lynn. I'll just say to Lynn, thank you. For, I won't read it out, but thank you for your really, really lovely message. It means a lot to me. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, right. Carry on. I won't disturb you now. You can disturb me all you like. <laughs> that, oh. Why change the habit of a lifetime? Oh. That's what I say. Oh. Go on then. Hurry <laughs> so up. You, you've got your centre panel. Now, um, 
you'll see that you've got a bottom and top section of motifs and then you've got your side strips. We want to try and make this as central as we possibly can. Now to do that I understand that not everyone's got a ruler that, that is that long. So we need to Find the measurements. I have had lots of sleep since then, so I'm just going to check because I'm going to make this afterwards because I want to, to make it, so I'm not just going to cut it. So it's got to be 23 and a half inches wide by 41, half, uh, 41 inches long. Now, if you're good at maths, then you can divide them in two yeah. because we're going, to, we're going to cut them on the fold. Now, with this bit, I'm going to cut the 41 inches first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it, and you'll be able to see this when you're at home, but I'm going to try and lay the two patterns on top of each other. So these two end, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit out, but no, one, no, one's, going to, no one's going to judge you. But I'm trying to get them roughly the same. And then what is very, very, very important is that you, you give it a good press. Now I did give it a good press while you were just doing what you do. Yeah. Having a chat. Oh, it's over there. Wittering. No, you don't witter. So, 41 divided by 2. Thank you, half. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I used to work on the fruit and veg store. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. you're not one of those that used to yell it out like two apples for a pound, that kind of thing. I hardly spoke like that, <laughs> did I, darling? <laughs> oh, two apples And it was for in Chester pound. anyway, wasn't it? Do you know what? Elliot thought I was a bit posh this morning. Well, everyone's posh next to Elliot. <laughs> So I wouldn't take that as I, I wouldn't say that. Now, he's not there, he's not listening, so it's fine. Oh, that's okay. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Is Ollie's doing it now. Oh, is he? Oh, oh is he? I've had a quick change. Now, again, I'm not going to keep on, but these rulers are amazing because I've actually got a 20 and a half. So I'm following, I'm following that. There's a little 20 and a half. So I'm going to line it along that folded edge. Please, please, please make sure it's the folded edge and not the other edge, otherwise oh, you're no, going yeah. to have two half panels. Uh, these rulers aren't in stock at the moment, I'm afraid. We are waiting for them to come back in. Right, this, I, have you got the six and a half ones? It doesn't matter if it's the, the wide one or the six and a half one. Um, I've got the eight and a half one here. It just means you just have to move it up. Yeah. So I've got my 20 and a half, and then I'm going to go to this side, and I'm going to, you can see I'm giving it you a You didn't change your blade in the break. But look. Yeah, all so right. I gave it a jolly good push. And then what you want to do is you want to slide your ruler just up and keeping it on that 20 and a half inch line. And you want to make sure, don't go right up to the edge of where you cut. You just want a little bit for your blade so that you don't, because otherwise you're going to get a little hump if you do that. Yeah, so we don't 20, want those on a Wednesday, oh, do we? we? don't want the Wednesday hump. They do call it hump day, don't they? And I can't understand that. Because well, you're on the way no, to the weekend no, now. I love uh, Wednesdays. The way, not that it makes any difference to me, because I'm in here every weekend. <laughs> uh, Georgina says, John and Wendy, I love you too. You make me laugh with your cheeky banter. <gasps> and then Cheryl says, what are your thoughts of this for a baby? I have two teachers due in September, oh. but don't, who don't want to know the sex of their babies. Well, no, that'd be nice for a baby. Because, well, they're all bl mainly blue. If you, but go for the gold one. Don't I'd ask me because I love it. So don't ask me because I'll say yes anyway. So well, yeah, I yeah, just but she's it. saying, would a, ba would a baby like it? Yes, I think so, because it'd be uplifting and bright. and it'd be. Also, they can't see colour for the first six months. Is it six months? Apparently so. That's what Hannah tells me. So how does it suddenly just switch on then, your, your colour? Oh. oh, now you've started. <laughs> they start seeing what? Red's the first thing they see. So they won't see this quilt then. They yet. won't see it, no. Uh, and then they start to start to develop. It's when the cones and the rods wow. in the it's cones and rods in eyes, isn't it? They they're, they're through the colours. And it's all to do with eating carrots and things like that. Really? Is it really to do with eating carrots? No, no they, I know they, you just threw that one in, didn't no, you? No, no, but it's definitely rods and cones that are in your eye that determine the colours. Right, so now we've got our 41 inches because yeah. 41 divided by 2 is 20 and a half. So yeah. we've cut that. I'm not going to open it out because I still want that edge. Right. Now, what I'm then going to do is carefully do it on the other side. So right. I'm going to jiggle that and line it. I'm actually going to line the box this time. There we go. And I am going to give this a jolly good press. Because if you don't, you're going to get, it's going to stand proud, which is going to be two or three millimetres out. Yeah. And we don't want to do that. Now, again, this is really, really important that you don't cut on the fold. Otherwise, you're going to now have four little pieces and we don't want that. Right. Okay, then. 
Mr Maths, Mr School Maths, yeah. I need a width of 23 and a half inches, please. Oh, what, you want half of that, mm. dear? 23 and a half. So half of, ten, half of 20 is 10, half of 3 is 1 and a half, so 11 and a half, and, and plus a quarter. 11 and three quarters. Okay. That just check, bit... just double check, because that didn't sound right. But... Uh, right, so 11, 22, Oh, you must 20, have worked it out. 23 and a half, yeah. yes, 11 and three quarters. Right, so we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to go from the folded edge and we're going to do 11 and three quarters. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see black and white first. Yes, um, Sharon, I know the black and white, they can see that first. But we were talking, because they only see in black and white when they're first born, don't they? And then after a certain amount of time, they can see red. Um, want to ask, where does Wendy get her energy from? Is she a healthy eater? Well, she's had a banana this morning. And she drinks oat milk. But there's absolutely, did you know, there's absolutely no nutrition in oat milk. Nothing nutritional in oat milk whatsoever. I drink it, I drink it as well, but there's nothing nutritional in oat milk. Really? Apparently, I was told by a nutritionist last weekend. Yeah. Really? Oh. But cow's milk, I can have tea with cow's milk, and as soon as it starts to go cold, it's, but... If I leave my oat milk tea to go cold, I could drink it. Oh, okay, cool. it's fine. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, I just right. can't drink milk. Yes, I, I got myself a bit confused then because I'm going on the 11 and a half and then I needed to add it a quarter. So that was very confusing. Yeah. So and then we just, again, line it up and then we're going to, oh, we, this is going to test it, isn't it? Because I'm now going, oh, oh, look at that. But what you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be pushing with too much pressure forward because it's going to make the fabric stretch. You need mm -hmm. to lift your blade and come a little bit more upright. So 11 and a half and then you just slide it up. I just thought this was quite important because a lot of people um, would be a little bit scared about cutting into a panel of this size and then if you've got it wrong then I'd sit and have a cry, really, to be perfectly honest. So where do you get your energy then, Annie, Annie O says? Uh, <coughs> I don't know. I've always been, in fact, it, the, um, the other family members in our house um, go, oh, well, you did it to me the other week, didn't you? It's like, just, just, go, just go for half an hour, just give me half an hour's rest. I don't um, remember saying that. Mm, yeah, you did. Because um, we're just, it's just... It's just so much to do. I haven't got time not to what have any energy. What do you do for your relaxation downtime then? You're Don't say sewing. I crochet. Okay, there you go. That's my... Mm -hmm. Or draw. Oh, do you know, okay. I, I got an iPad with a pen or oh, pencil. Yeah, What's yeah, it yeah, called, yeah. a pencil? Yeah. And whoa, and then I found this software. And it's <laughs> so that's how all my little bugs in my bag were created off this uh, software. Right. Now, I had a horrible feeling I'd cut on the fold. But what you can see is it's nice and central now. Yep. So you have the same amount either side and either end. Um, that's just me. I'm just a little bit of a stickler. And because you've cut it exactly to the measurements, when we come to put the top and the side borders on, they will fit. Because believe me, I sat and scratched my head and then had a little tantrum and then scratched it again. Because it's not just a case of sewing something to something. All the seams have got to fit and yeah, that, haven't they? So that's how you do that. Then what we do... Oh, see, look, I've been quite tidy today. Mm. It's not like me, is it? I'm going to have to sort that out. All we do, we go back to our instructions because we've now cut everything out. Right. And now we're going to put everything back. Now, it tells you that you need to add these borders on first. So you, it's quite hard. It's probably not a bad thing that it was done like that because yeah. you can now, you're going to be able to see that border. So we're going to put this border on round here. Right. Now we put the side borders on first. So make sure that you actually do put. So you just folded the whole I have. up. I was just showing that I could fold fabric. Okay. Yeah. So we cut the, the borders. Now I haven't cut these to length. Because what I like to do, as you know, is I like to start off with a longer bit and cut it to size. Right. But I do tell you in there to cut yep. it to length, so it's entirely up to you. So as I say, we're going to sew these ones down here first, and then we're going to sew these ones okay. on the top. How, oh gosh, look at that, we'll have the whole quilt made, won't we? 
Uh, Nurse Julie says sunflower are her favourite flowers as well. My uh, next door neighbour always supplies me with sunflowers for my garden every year. <coughs> but what I don't know until last year is that their heads follow the sun round. Didn't know that. We used to have them um, when, when the kids were small. We used to all plant one each and then see whose one. Who's Mine never did. No. Mine never did. But I don't care. I think it knew that I was a mum because, you know, we always lose at games and go, oh, oh, I've lost, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> In fact, it's really, really sad now because um, I used to like let, not let, I didn't let them win. That's awful. I didn't because, you know, they did win. But when we play things like tennis and squash now, whereas I used to be able to keep up, I'm literally around the court just being thrown from one side to the other. Oh. Yes. <coughs> so I can't pretend to win now because I no. actually can't win. Now, I, I, I don't pin or clip, but if you are... Just starting out, this is a wonderful um, quilt to be able to start out because there's not many pieces to it. I would definitely pin and clip. So you want to put right sides together. Now, as I say, I always leave a little bit more than I need because when I sew and fold back, I know I'm going to get a, a really nice straight edge. Okay. Now, because um, I'm a lefty, so you would clip all the way down. The only thing I find with clips is they're a bit loud, you see, and I'm quite quiet, aren't I? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, there are clips, uh, uh, there are either some clips on the website underneath us, but I, my tip is go to the shop and there are other clips on there. Search clip and they're the ones to get. So we're doing right sides together and I mean it would use a huge amount of um, spray but I probably would just best press the edges because what, what you've got is an awful lot of fabric. Um, so you've got, you, you might stretch it. So never ever pull the material, just allow it to glide through the machine. And I'm sewing, I've gone down, now, now the machine tells me, and you say that um, a lot of people do quilt with a two, I just leave it as it is. So I'm yeah. on a two stitch length. Piece on a two, not quilt on a two. You piece, you're piecing on a two. I do all of it on a two now, because I do everything on a quarter inch. Yeah, but when you quilt it, you don't use a two. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No. You said quilt, that was all. I'm not picking on her. I'm not picking on her. It, go, it goes over there Yeah, now. no, no, because we have new, new people join us every day. When you're regulars, quilting, yeah. you've got a, a fat sandwich, haven't yeah. you? So, no, you would increase because... Because when I first started, I thought quilting was all of it. I thought it... Oh, I right. didn't realise there was piecing, sandwiching and then quilting. Sort of thing. And just for the people who are new... No, definitely. Definitely, uh, uh, yeah. if you actually get to the quilting stage, yeah. make sure you increase... I'm only, only pointing out because we, we're getting so many new customers every single day, you know what I mean? And we welcome you to the I most think everyone should say. dysfunctional family in the world. We are. We are. We're not. We are. No, we're not. I think we're a lovely family. I love being part of the family. Okay, Hannah, what, I didn't hear what you said, Hannah, sorry. Oh, yeah, you carry on saying. You can't say I didn't want to. Uh... No, 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 I've got to do a roundup, that's all. <clears throat> not yet, not yet. <clears throat> oh, I do apologise. Just drink some of my water. You've got a little frog, haven't you? Yeah. Now, what you want to do is do the opposite side. So don't then sew down this side. You want uh -huh. to sew along the opposite because you'll find the top and bottom much easier to put on now. Now, I'm doing the both one after the other, but you can, if you want, do one and then iron it back. And then, all right, I'm just going to do the second side. This is a very quick and easy make. <laughs> I think this is one of my favourite fabrics. Well, the, the, it's very mm. um, uplifting. It's gorgeous, it? isn't it? And these little little forget-me-nots were what inspired the next hour, the, my next hour. That's a different channel. Different oh, we're company. not allowed. Yes, oh, we're not allowed to cross channel. But forget we? we've got to forget for net, and we have got it now. It's arrived. The missing yarn. Oh, has yeah, arrived. it has. It yeah. has arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not looking forward to getting wet when we go over to the next uh, studio. No, well, no. miraculously, there's a tunnel we can run. Oh, that's good. So that's good. Get wet. I have to remember to put my youth spray on then, if you know, if I've got to look a bit of a younger model. <laughs> you need more than that. <laughs> was that that ready mix that I saw being delivered out there? Was that for me? No, that was Hannah's. <laughs> that was her lunch. I don't know. 
You know what? You went in at the weekend, were you? Every day over the weekend, Hannah looked adorable. She dressed up, she did her hair, had makeup and everything. And then Monday, oh no, we're in Monday, Tuesday. Today, I knew same that was coming. I knew that was coming. I love Hannah's t-shirt today. Oh, there you go. Says Lynn. Thank goodness. I thought I was the only one that didn't realise quilting was one thing and patchwork was another. Yeah. No, 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 no. I didn't. I did nothing about it before I started. Do you know, I, I'm my age and I'm still learning every... Well, I, know I don't think age. you ever stop learning. You do don't. You? And I've learned... I've, I'm not going to admit it, although I will, that I've learned quite a lot from you as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop it. Just shut up. <laughs> yes. the same. Now I'm going to just press, press these back. And again, we don't want any little humps along those seams. So I'm pressing back, and this is quite important. Quite, that was a bit quite mm -hmm. important. Because uh, I turned down south then, didn't I? Goodness me. Um, because I'm going to be doing a top stitch at this point, because I know you would normally do it when you quilt, but I'm actually doing it on this step. You so top stitch it? Yes. Well, that's a bit controversial. I know. So okay. I've got my top strip and I'm pressing it back because that then means that that fabric is going to be behind that strip. It's very controversial, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But do you know what? I did it. And I'm not sorry. And you're not listening, are you? You just wander off into little John world, don't you? No, I just saw a message and I just kind of thought, oh my goodness, we've upset somebody. Oh, have I we? thought have the we? message said, I can't bear you two and your banter. What it actually says is, Carol says, morning you two, you can't beat a bit of banter. <sighs> That's why it's always important to put your glasses on before you read something. <laughs> oh, hang on. Karen in Dumfries says, I'm just had... I've just had a crazy giggle to myself when I imagine you two as neighbours. Oh, no. I'd love it. No, you wouldn't. When I go home, I shut that door. Nobody's allowed in. Are you a bit of a miserable? I'm such a misery. Aww. Grumpy, miserable. I have the most... You'd fit right in because my neighbour's 80 in her 80s. You'd fit right in. I have the most incredible neighbour. She, um, she's, she's learning Italian and yeah. she's something like 86. She's okay. unbelievable. Why shouldn't she? Exactly. So now I don't understand why you're top stitching at this point. Because, because, right. So I just want to make sure that this is just really neat. It's, it's a design feature. Okay. And it holds that fabric back because the panel needs to be as flat and as true as it possibly can to make all the edges fit. Okay. So this is actually aimed at those that are maybe new because I don't want them to then put the top the top border on and it doesn't quite fit. By doing this, it just makes it look really neat. So all I'm doing is doing a top stitch down here and then it will hold that seam. So you want to make sure that it's within that quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, and, and that's in the instructions, is it? It's in the instructions. Okay. And then um, I'm going to increase my stitch length and I'm going to go, I think, I'm going to go to a 3.4. So as we know, the bigger the stitch length, for those that haven't done this before, the bigger the stitch length, the less time the needle penetrates the fabric along the row. Okay. And it also helps the fabric glide a little bit easier. That's what your point was when you've got a sandwich, a big fat mm -hmm. sandwich. The bigger your stitch length, the easier it will get through. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm using my foot as a guide. So I'm just looking at a piece, a piece. I'm looking at um, a place on my foot, keeping my eye line on there. And when I run out of hand, then I stop with my needle down and I haven't moved it back to the centre position, but you get the idea. Sorry, I'm, I'm still on my quarter of an inch. Oh, right. So I needed to move it back to the centre, which is absolutely fine. But you can see it from the back, but it's not going to have caught that back bit, which is what we were aiming for. Um, so don't be tempted just to lift all your hands and carry on. Just stop and then just move it. And if, as long as you keep your needle in the down position, and that way you're going to get a really straight top stitch. If you keep moving your hands like this and it's wibbly wobbly, and that's when it goes wobbly. And as we all know, the better you can make something look, if you are going to be selling something, the more professional it's going to look. Mm -hmm. And you know, I am professional. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Uh, are you, oh, you're not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm letting your words speak for themselves. <laughs> I can see you. I'm, I really want to answer that. No, 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 no. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> oh, that's unusual. Oh, no. I've got you stumped, haven't I? So now, because I did a bit of an overhang on this, I can now cut this off completely level. And I'm 
when I do that, I'm looking for a couple of things. So I'm looking to see that I'm following this line here, but I'm also looking to see that this is on my ruler nice and straight with one of the lines, which, oh my goodness, it is. That's a shock, isn't it? And then I'm cutting up there. So now I've got a nice straight. Now, I know that you were teasing me about my top stitch. That hasn't worked because I've done... Yeah. Make sure if you've got this machine, you're using the quarter that you put it back to the center. What that does, and this is very important, it stabilizes this section here. Because when we're going to put the next bit on here, if we hadn't have done that, that would all be wibbly wobbly. So there is sometimes method in my madness. Okay, I've just not seen it before, that's all. And uh, that was wrong, Wendy. You know, I used to ride a motorbike at 70 <laughs> and just started sewing and learning quilting and patchwork. <coughs> We're yep. always learning. I love laptops and tablets and use them all the time oh. and can fix them. Life is an education, says Finn. Right, I'm going to stop you. Have you got to do another seam? Only because I need to recap because it's half past, that's all. Right, okay, so now I've got this, this, this um, pattern in two different colourways, right? Okay, so which have I got at the moment? I've got blue at the moment, which is this one here. So what you get in this one is you get Wendy's instructions. You get the panel. The, the panel is exactly the same in both kits, so I don't need to open that one out for you. You just saw Wendy cut that one. Then you get a half a metre of the butterfly, half a metre of the flowers, and half a metre of the crosshatch. This is going to look different to, to anything that we're doing because the, the fabrics have got muddled up somewhere along the line. So they, it won't look like either the one on the wall or the one on the desk. Yeah, you can sew. Yeah, you can sew. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, they'll turn your microphone off so we don't hear the uh, machine. Right, we're on single figures this once everyone checks out. Lots and lots in baskets, though. I also need to tell you that I have got these fabrics by the half metre coming up in the next hour. So if you think, oh, I'd really like that big sunflower one or the white one with sunflower squares on, you can add it in somewhere else along the line if you want to. But this, is what the, this will make what's hanging on the wall but in a slightly different formation. Right, but the kits are the only way to get the panel. You can't get the panel on its own. Uh, you could have done earlier this morning, but they all went on pre-order. Right, and then, I've, so that's blue. The gold kit is this one. So again, it's the same panel. It's the same instructions. This time, you get half a metre of the uh, sunflowers on the crosshatch. You get half a metre of the sunflowers, and ha I love this next one, half a metre of the white fabric with the blue squares with sunflowers and butterflies on. So this kit is the gold kit. Now I'm going to show you them both together, just so you can see the difference, right? So this one is blue, this one is gold. So that's what you will be getting, not what you've seen hanging on the wall. Okay, blue is very, very, very close to selling out. Uh, once you've checked out, once you've checked out. But I've got a few more of the gold one. I can't hear you, Hannah. Okay, there's 20 people with blue in their baskets, so you really, really, really need to check out the blue if you want it. Right, okay, this is gold now. And I'll just tell you that. I made a silly mistake on Monday, John Scott, says Christine. I thought a friend's T-shirt said bad woman and it actually said bad Monday. Oh, Christine, that's a bit of a mix up, isn't it? Oh, hang on, Susan, on my bottom. Uh, we grow sunflowers in our conserv oh, conservation areas and it is wonderful what to watch them all follow the sun round together. Love Sue T in Cambridgeshire. Oh, I know. We only, I only have three in my garden. Chris next door has lots in hers. Right. Yeah, back on, Wendy. She's back on now. There she is. I haven't gone anywhere. This is adorable, this little... Because it's got, like, little... You can't call them... Well, they do actually look like wasps, don't they? But they wasps. are bees. They are supposed to be bees. No, they're honeybees, because honeybees are... <gasps> oh, oh, last oh, night... Oh, I know oh. I always go on about the oh. secret life of the zoo. They had a gem wasp on, right? And its body was like a mystic topaz. It was like blue and green How and sparkling. Oh, like oh, only, only this big. But right now, if anyone, nobody will be having their lunch, really. If you have your 11s, stop for a minute, right? She lays her egg in a cockroach. Then she drags the cockroach into a burrow 
and she puts all stones so the cockroach can't get out of the burrow. How does she lay the eggs in the cockroach? Then she lays it on, his, on its shell, on its back shell, right? And then, please, uh, this is nature, right? This is nature. I thought it, the egg grows inside the cockroach and eats the cockroach, all oh of the inside no. cockroach. So when it bursts out, it does an empty shell of a cockroach and it breaks in half. And this amazing blue and green and beautiful with red antennae wasp comes out. I know, it's fantastic. But you think of that poor cockroach. Well, that's what, that's what they said to the lady, the, zoo, the zookeeper. And she said, yes, the cockroach doesn't feel anything because she uh, injects it with some... Mo oh, it's oh, just right. fascinating, yeah. fascinating. Almost like an anaesthetic to yes, numb it Yes, completely. Something. So once yeah. she's injected the cockroach before she lays the egg, it knows nothing. But it still dies. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Poor cockroach. And then they've got these really lovely little animals, which I can't remember what they're called, like Lempic or something like that it's called. But they're the sweet. There's like a hedgehog's met a bumblebee. It's the strangest really? little thing. It was so cute. I'll tell you what we did the other day. Um, my daughter surprised me. And up near us, we've got a, a butterfly farm. Oh, yeah, we've got those in Stratford, yeah. Oh, I've been to that one. That is incredible. I mean, this is literally like on a mini, mini, mini scale. Yeah. But we walked in there, and it's like a little oasis. And you're allowed to go round again because it was all social distancing, yeah. so you had to go round. And this one butterfly just, she said, oh, you will be, they will land on you. It, it landed on me and it followed me all the way round and I shook it off when we come out. We went back in again. It, it came, came straight back. back. I wonder who it was. Oh. Yeah. It was the same cool. butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and no. It, it looked nothing until it opened its wings. Mm. And that's what made you mind because it was a big blue butterfly. A bit butterfly. like me. Looked like nothing until I opened my wings. You're something, even with your wings closed. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, carry so on, So now woman. we've put the border. Yeah. And all I've done with the border is I've done exactly the same. So I trimmed both sides, and then I um, added the bottom. And, I mean, I know you were teasing me, but with putting that um, top stitching here, it just stabilises. So do you end. now That's top all. stitch? I, they would have all been top stitched. All four of them. I would have, I top stitched them as they're pressed back. Right. So that because these would have both been top stitched, these sides, so that when I put this edge on here, this is really stable here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this has a tendency just to be a little bit unstable and we don't want that. So okay. that would have all been top stitched. And then just for decorative, because I've top stitched the sides, I would have just yeah, done the yeah, top. Exactly you, yeah. This doesn't need to be stable because it's just one piece anyway. So that is now finished. Now, do you know what? You could actually just quilt and bind that if you wanted to and has it as a little mini, but we're gonna add the border on. How are we, for oh gosh. Yeah. Gosh, right, that's good. What's wrong with me today? It's because I've had my breakfast now. What, your banana? Had, oh, no, I had it, it was in something with nuts and raisins. Oh, and, okay. Yes. We go back to our instructions, and this is what we have just done here. So we've just added the panel, and tells you to add the side borders and then the top and the bottom borders. And again, as long as you label your fabric, then you'll know where you need to place it. And then it tells you what to do. So it tells you to do the outer and then the outer top and bottom boards. It tells you how to make them. So all I need to do is select the fabrics that it states here. So we've got a C. I mean, it's a bit obvious because you can see by the shape. Um, and then B, so B1 is big. So that must be my B fabric, which I forgot to label. So we do that, and then that, and then I just follow the chart. Oh, that butterfly fabric is incredible, isn't it? And The butterfly is only in the blue one, not the gold wow. one. Now, this is where it's telling me that I need my B1. So that's my big, long B1. And then it's telling me another C, and then an A and then another C, and then a B, and a C. So that is my side border, and that is it. So that all we need to do, and it doesn't matter which end you work from, obviously whichever one you start from, then you need to continue. Um, and then all you're going to do, because you have cut these, and if you've cut them exact, then they will fit. So I'm just going to place right sides together, so I'll move it in. Just going to place right sides together and then sew down that seam and I'm following the chart at the same time. Now, if you, this, this machine is incredible, but Don't if you... Don't change the stitch back. I never changed it in the first oh, okay. place, yeah. Um, 
if you do if you do do that with that and you, you want to change back to what you were sometimes it's it's easier just to select another stitch and then go back to it because it will reset it to what that stitch is um you put me on the train oh sorry that's my age mm -hmm. i do that and and someone interrupts me and they go oh carry on carry on and i go i can't i've forgotten no, okay I've maybe forgotten. i'll write it down oh no no I know, no i know what it was, you know what it was <laughs> i know what it was um this machine is incredible but sometimes um i've got a couple that have a tendency to gobble up the end of your corner of your um, fabric just start a couple of millimeters in from the edge if that does that because they don't like to machine on nothing do they uh Visa says which machine is wendy using it's the juki nx7 which is the one she's got we haven't got any in stock i'm afraid we've got the eight in stock at the moment um yeah I'm over not having the screen now. I had a little bit of a yeah. hissy fit, but I'm over it. I'd be too distracted. I could never work in an office. What, there's so much going on? Well, no, because they set me a job. I'd go off to do something and then I'd get sidetracked. I would well, never. Well, no, you'd be fired. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> but I'd be fired with a smile. Yeah. I'm very, I'm, I'm not very good in an office. I remember um, I worked with my mate and um, she should, I shouldn't say this to you, but we, we were changing, we used to change all the rooms around. We used to do like place where all the sockets were. That's what we used to do in. Yeah. in and um, we were moving a filing cabinet one day and she had a little bodily movement that shouldn't have happened and she tried to just hide it. And I went, did you just, you know. I don't understand this story. Trump. Oh, we don't talk about things like that. Exactly, thing, that's why I said it. And um, we couldn't do anything for the rest of the day. She tried to disguise it, but I was there. Right, so now we're going to do the... Oh. No, no, it's okay, it's fine. Now we're going to do that long centre one. And as you can see what I'm just doing, I'm just following the chart. So I had a C, then a B, then a C, then an A, and a C. Mm -hmm. And then... I like to sew them all together. If you wanted to sew and press, sew and press, that's absolutely fine. But I like to do them all in one length. This is an incredible machine. It really is. Okay, Ange says, I had quite experience with butterflies at Tropical World in Leeds. I knew I didn't like them, but I didn't realise what a reaction I'd have when such large ones landed on me. I was caught curled up in a ball, oh. covering my head screaming, and the staff had to help me out through the back of the exhibition. Thank goodness it was before YouTube. That's Can you imagine if it had? It would be, every, it'd be, it'd be viral, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Julie says, uh, hi, John and Wendy, I'm at work, so I've got to catch up later. Love you to both together. Shh, get back to work. That's work. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to carry on. And all four of the borders are completed in exactly the same way. And because you have cut them to size, they will all fit. Now, I'm not pinning or clipping these. But again, if you're new and you don't feel comfortable, then just make sure that you pin or clip. It comes together really quickly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And again, you want to make sure that you put the sides together in the right order because they will fit. Now I will just, I will just mention, um, I don't want to scare anyone off, but it is quite important that you do do the quarter inch seam because the, the actual dimensions are four quarter inch. So that is quite important here. Because sometimes I would just say, no, just go with the machine setting, but this one you really do need to yeah. do that quarter inch. They Graphics of the gold. I'm oh, sorry, Wendy. They say they should make a silent machine, then I'd be able to sew all night. They should make what? A silent machine, then I would be able to sew all night. You just get one of those lovely red mats, then you will be able to. I'm going to try that. Right, so I would, I don't know why, my one started doing that at home. I'm going to have to phone Gary. Oh, uh, when you do, do you know my love, he was supposed to be in this week. Did he not come in yesterday? No, no, it's not Gary's fault. There was, we, we don't know what happened, but we were supposed to do a GK. I did a launch of fabric instead, but... Um. Oh, because I was travelling, so I didn't, yeah. I didn't see what you were doing. I didn't have my beady eye on you. Um, that is it. 
So that is how simple it is. I would challenge anyone that is just new to sewing not to be able to just sew. If you've cut correctly, you make sure that you cut them right um, and just use that same quarter of an inch seam, then you will get the same results. Mm -hmm. Then what you need to do, now what I like to do for these, I like to, I like to just press these back because you're sewing, if you can see it on here, you're not going to be sewing on anything that needs to join up in that centre. Right. So I just like to let the fabric tell me where it wants to fall on these ones. You have got one when you do here, you so because you've got this bit here, so you have got that one, you have got a seam down the side, but for these centre ones, it doesn't really matter how you sew them back. The most important thing is that you give them a jolly good press and make sure that all those humps on the right side are nice and flat. This is just absolutely incredible, this fabric. Mm -hmm. What one's your favourite? What's what? Were you not listening? What's my favourite fabric? Yeah. Uh, this one, I said. Oh, you were busy sewing. I no, I, I did actually hear you. I didn't yeah. see which one you're pointing at. I like the, this one and this one. In the gold bundle, I like this one and this one. Now, you've got, you, did you say you've got some coming up in the next hour? Yes. Right, that fabric that is coming up in the next hour would make the most incredible cushions. It would make tote bags. Oh, there's so much. Mm-hmm. I think I'd just like to go and live in a fabric factory and just draw all day because I just love every fabric. Right, that, that is it. So you now have... Sorry, uh, sorry, I was just, I was just, I was just sending a message to Hannah and then... Uh, <laughs> they Did they come in on you when yes, you... Yes, he's, he's just... Uh, it's fine. They caught you out then, did they? Yeah. So you can say, oh, yeah, it's He's good. back on you now, go on. <laughs> um, I was just, I can hold it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> just so you know, this is Elliot, everyone. Oh, is he back? Yeah. Oh, he's back. Uh, I thought he'd gone. So yeah, you can back, see how amazing that is. Well, yes. What's the matter? No, I'm just seeing which way that's done. Yeah, it was that one. Brilliant. So you, uh, that's how you do your panels, and then you would do all of them in the same way following the chart following this chart so you've got all your letters he's coming to you he's now. coming you he's go. coming in so you've got all all the letters that you need and it tells you you need to make two so you've got two outer borders and then you've got the two top and bottom borders and again just pay particular attention to the a1 and the b1 because they are larger but it doesn't matter so have i got time to sew it on or yeah. Oh, what am I doing today? Oh. Goodness. Three minutes, so stop talking. <laughs> you do make me giggle. It's what we're here for, entertainment and information and education. Oh my goodness, it fits. Right, I, I shouldn't sound surprised then, should no. I? <laughs> so we're going to sew it along the side. Now, remember me telling you, I don't think you were listening anyway. Remember me telling you, it doesn't really matter where you press these ones because you've got no seam yeah these ones here in the corner you have got your seams to match up so this is where oh and I don't, that must have just been luck more than anything um, you want to make sure that they're ironed in opposite directions so that we can nest that seam okay, okay. Yeah, there. brilliant and i would pin or clip and graham just to answer a question on facebook Live, that's why you don't always press open on a quilt because you want the seams to nest so you, you do some some way some the other way so they nest up like that if you did them all open you wouldn't be able to nest them sometimes you have to do them open mm. when you've got a lot of seams coming in but on the whole you either press them one way or the other and you, each row you press a different way so you can nest them in so that they sit nicely and you don't mix, mix the corners that's a perfect explanation and if you do find that it's not going the right way and because sometimes when you sew down you think oh that should have been the other way just sew it and then just give it a little snip to release that fabric at the back as long as you don't touch the sit go into the stitches yeah. you see i can't decide which one i like best now because i would have thought i was going to like that one best but well except that at home you're yeah. not going to get either that one or this one because you're getting different fabrics in and your bundles please pick, send pictures tag yeah. me in pictures because i'd love to see them 
I don't think it matters which fabric you put with which, because they all look incredible. Well, yeah, exactly. And the next day, you're going to see them all as a collection anyway, so... And, um, <clears throat> There's no panel in the next hour, though. There's oh, that's no panel. a shame. They've all sold out. I've got a different panel. Got a different panel. But not this panel that you've seen here. And it's not the one with the lov lovely people sitting on top of the thingy. I don't mean that panel. Oh, no, pa the panel <clears> the <throat> is lovely. And I'm already thinking, like, one step ahead. So that will make, like, cushions. That will make placemats, the panel you've got coming up. I shall be watching you. Checking on you, checking you're not being rude about me. As if. <laughs> oh. No, no, it's just saying. Yeah, it's just saying I don't like you at the moment. So, it's not a bad thing that's happened on there. If that happens, you can see I've got all in a snag with my bobbin. Oh, we've got a nice little nest down here. Not just a nest in a good way, Graham. <laughs> no, not a nest in a good way. Anyway. If that happens. Yeah. Just. Take everything out and start again. Don't just be tempted just to sort your bobbin out because very often when that happens, this doesn't like it either. Okay, we're going to have to stop now anyway. Oh, well, so I've read it. You oh, can I don't fix it. it. I'll fix it. You can fix it whoever you sit next. Uh, right, the bundles, the bundles, the bundles. Right, as you, as you know, I've got two bundles. I've got a blue one and a gold one. Start with the gold one, which is this one here. So you get the panel which is the same in both of them. And if you want this panel, it's the only way to get this panel. You get the instructions and then you get half a metre of the sunflowers on crisscross, half a metre of the sunflowers in full bloom and half a metre of the sunflowers on white uh, in the little squares there. That is the gold version. And that's 39.99 and that's the graphic that's in at the moment. This, now, if you've got blue in your basket, you really, really, really need to check out. So, if you want it. So, again, you get the panel and you get the instructions, which is the same as in the last one. But then you get half a metre of your blue butterflies, half a metre of your flowers, and half a metre of your crisscross black and white. 39.99. And that's the blue one. Now, in the next hour, I have got... Um, these fabrics, all of these fabrics. So you might, make, well, you might want to create your own version. You might want to think, oh, you know what? I'll do this and this and I'll make the middle this and I've got a different panel. You might want to mix and match your own different fabrics or make a completely different pattern. I haven't got the pattern in the next hour, but you might, you might have another pattern of your own that you might want to use. Right. Is that it? Thank you, Wendy. We will see you uh, in an hour's time on Yarn Lane. Oh, you've got a head start. You can get to the new I am. I'm now. off there now. You can go there now. <laughs> I'll be back uh, in the next hour with floral fabrics. So I'll see you the rest, show you the rest of this collection and another panel and those beautiful fabrics. But they are all on pre-order underneath me if you want to go and have a look at them. And, and, on, <coughs> and they're in a mega bundle as well. I'll see you in three. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now. And by stitching, I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. 
If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Now remember the blue one, if you've got the blue one in your, in, your bun, in your basket, you really need to check out. There's a few of the gold ones left, so you're all right there. But if you've got the blue one in your, bun, in your basket, you really have to be careful. Right, now I'm all sanitised up. Now I'm going to show you the whole collection now. I'm going to show you the whole collection. There's an extra fabric in here that wasn't in the... In the um, there's an extra fabric. What's happening in there? There's an extra fabric in the, in the collection that wasn't in the quilt it's gone it's gone it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. right okay so here we go i've got a mega bundle fifth oh that's good value 58 pounds and 99 pence so you've seen these fabrics look so you've got the butterflies on blue you've got the sunflowers on the white you've got the lovely forget oh, excuse me forget me nots you've got the cross hatch on the black and white you've got the sunflowers on the black and white You've got the big, oh, there's two, there's two that weren't in the bundle. Look at this one. Oh, love, love, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at that one, that one wasn't in. Now, Wendy will be really angry that she wasn't sent this one. And, 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 this is another one you won't have seen yet. Oops. I'll hold it up for you so Ollie can show you the whole thing first of all. There you go. Now, please note that the stripes, that even though the stripes go down the fabric, they're that way up. Do you know what I mean? Let me hold it up. They're that way up. So you get the um, stripes going that way. So if you buy half a metre, that's what... Well, this is, in the bun this is actually in the bundle, so you will get half a metre of this one. So in the bundle, you get half a metre of all these fabrics, two of which you hadn't seen in the qu uh, quilt bundle, the quilt kits. Let me just fold that one up. Oh, I think this is glorious. I think I might have to get some of that for my next door neighbour, Chris, she'd love that. Right, okay, let me just put that there. So this is the mega bundle. Right, let me just put that there, that there, that there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four metres. Four metres. Now, a lot of these are very popular on pre-order. Hannah thinks one of them might have sold out already. We're just checking. We're just checking. Fifty-eight ninety-nine for that bundle. Oh, I think I can't get over how beautiful that is. Okay, we think we're thinking this one. This one's been very popular. That one might have sold out now, but we'll we'll double check when we come to you by the half meter because I need to show you the other panel, don't I? So fifty-eight ninety-nine will get you all of these. Half meter, 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 half meter. I know. Now, here is a pattern. Now, if you want to make this, <clears throat> but create your own, remember, there was half a metre, half a metre, and half a metre. So you need to just choose three half metres 
And then, oh, oh, hang on. Let me just start again because this panel might not be the same size. Let me have a look. Oh, no, it's different, different, different. There you go. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's upside down. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, you could just create your own. Just buy whichever fabrics you love and just create your own version. Butterflies, sunflowers on scrolls. That's like a mini version of the, of the bundle because it had the little white um, posts in front of it. Big portrait sunflower. Big portrait butterfly. Oh, love. Isn't it uplifting? How much? Quarter of the stock went before we even got to it. Just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's so... Up I mean, not only are the sunflowers, but you've got these beautiful blues, like Mediterranean blues, I call those. <clears throat> Absolutely stunning. So this is the panel for $9.99. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that because I want to do these by the half metre now. Okay, let's do, can I start with this one? This is the big sunflower. Finishing 71, yeah? Oh. Oh, no. UK UI 71. Oh, no. It's only in the mega bundle. That's not available anywhere else. That's sold out. I'm sure we'll get some in. I'm sure we'll get more in. Okay, let's move on then. Let's do the stripe one next. That's all right, but my favourite one, and I'm not surprised it's sold out because it's gorgeous. There we go. So now, if you buy a half metre of this, the stripes go down the fabric and obviously the vases are facing upwards towards the selvage, to the, to the side to the selvage. Lovely. Look, they're like um, Mediterranean tiles, aren't they? Could be in Greece or in Spain or somewhere gorgeous like that. Oh, I'm getting a bit holiday. What's it now? I'm time. Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Yeah, because somebody said I said to a friend of mine the other day, "Oh, I'd love to go away for my birthday," and she went, "You can, you can go." And I said, "Not in June. I want me to go away in June." They were like, "Yeah, yeah, of course you can." I don't think I can, can I? I mean, I can go. I know I can go to a holiday home in. In, in the UK, but I don't think I'm, I don't know the official lines, but I'm sure I can't go abroad. I can't now anyway, because they're planning a special birthday show already. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. But they're doing lots of, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, but they're doing lots of goodies for it. Okay. Right, now, the other sunflower one is here. So this one ends, that's the one, 68. Oh, remember now, it's 44 inches wide, it's machine washable, it's 100% cotton, seven pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Let's have a look at this on the label, see what's on the selvage. Studio fabrics, 100% cotton. Sunny sunflowers, this is called. Sunny sunflowers. We've called it sunflowers in leaf. Have we really? Sun oh no, sunny sunflowers. There you go. In leaf and flower. Oh, is leaf the colour? Yeah. So gorgeous, isn't it? You're making a frock. Oh, can you imagine? Like, a, not a little girl, not a baby girl, but like um, pre teenage, yeah, like seven, eight year old girl in a, in a frock made out of that for the summer. Or a jumpsuit, Hannah's saying. Oh, actually, she made the Adaku jumpsuit. Oh, can you imagine some of the Adaku patterns in this as well? I know I keep going on about Adaku's book, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Or a bucket hat. Oh, now we've got a hat tomorrow with um, Fiona Hesford tomorrow. We're doing a hat with Fiona Hesford tomorrow. Is it a bucket hat, though? I know I've unpacked one. I think it is. One of them is, I think, yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Gorgeous. I can't see, I can't see Hannah in an oasis hat, can you? She'd have to make it very big to put all her hair in. 
Oh, she's bought one. Okay, you've not worn it yet. What colour is it? Pink? Oh, then you think, oh, it's not arrived yet. Oh, she ordered it, yes. You see, you talk about me buying things on the internet. Yes, yeah, she's, she's ordered it. Well, when, she, when, when it arrives, I'll get to wear it. She'll wear, well, it'll have to be uh, on a day when she comes in in one of her nice outfits. Oh, that might not happen, though. Well, no, she's off this weekend. She's off this weekend, isn't she? Are you in the next weekend? Oh, you might have to dress up that day for us. Oh, you might have sent it back by then, though. Can you send hats back? Sunny sunflowers in black checkered, this one's called. Lovely. Now, Wendy used this one, obviously, in her, in her quilt. Seven forty nine. No. Hannah's got such a lovely outlook on life. She really has. I'm being serious now. She's got a lovely outlook on life. Seven forty nine. Half half a meter. Remember now. This is cut off the bolt for you. I'll put my hand in. So, oh, sorry. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the flowers. But it's cut, cut cut off the bolt for you. So as long as you buy it in increments of half a meter. Oh no! Brand new today. Only seven meters left. At ten past. Oh, it's not even ten past. Seven minutes past eleven. Eleven. I was going to wipe my. I, I did this at the same time. I was talking to you and I went eleven because <laughs> I felt I had crumbs round my, <laughs> my mouth. Eleven. Lovely, isn't it? Right, moving on. Oh, sorry, Ollie. Moving on. Right. <clears throat> Here we go. Now you could use this for so many other things. Doesn't even have to go with. It. I presume this is the trellis, is it, on the garden wall? Yeah, no, but why is it there? Oh, checks and sunflowers together are really cool, says Hannah. Is it just me or do those flowers look like the honey monster? Sue says, I can see faces in the checkered fabric. Oh, my word. Did you, call I, did you say I'm crazy? Hang on, let me have a look. So what did they say? Joanna said, is it just me or those flowers look like honey monsters? Oh, anyway, we can move on. I can't see a face in the checkered, can you? Oh, in the sunflower one, yeah. We all see different things, don't we? See, nobody knew I had butterflies on my shirt this morning. They're butterflies, look. And all the talk we've had about butterflies today. At 7.49, sunny sunflowers in checkered. What, what? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been to check on the butterfly in the garage. I must go and check on him. It's a, this is a butterfly that came out of hibernation in my kitchen in the middle of winter, and I was told to put him in a plant pot. I put tissue paper in the plant pot. I didn't have to, but I put tissue paper and just leave him in the garage and he'll, when, he, when he comes out of hibernation. I'll have to go and see if he's still there because I haven't opened the garage door for him. Yeah, it's going to be like this, waiting to be let out. Oh, no, no, actually, I tell a lie, because it was bin day, wasn't it? So I had the garage door open. So, yeah, the day I was trying to, when, oops, when I thought I'd lost my ring, wasn't it? I was running around like a mad boy. Right, this is lovely. Forget me nots. With the bumbly bees, with the honey bees. Oh, we called it blue bee. Well, the bee's, the bee's not blue. Blue, 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 blue. Poor old Ollie's. Ollie's. Ollie works with our sister channel. He's just come in to see how we work and everything. So I'm thinking, I'm really quite glad I work at the sister channel and not here with these. He's got Hannah in there with him. Elliot. And me. You know what I mean? Seven pounds of a dead pence. We could be saying anything, he says, because he knows no phrases about fabric. Well, if you don't know anything, Ollie, just ask. We'll happy to answer. No, silly is a question. Uh, no questions. Are silly. <laughs> no questions. A silly question here. Dave said the sunflowers look like gibbons. Oh my word! Yeah, Sue's in a silly mood today. She thinks that the two leaves on top. Oh, I don't understand. Anyway, we'll move on. Yeah. 
Okay, look at this one. This is nice. This was one of my favourites, this one. You see, um, now what would this look... You see, I think Karen and Wigan make a lovely frock out of this. Oh, you're thinking, I kid you, I'm thinking about a shirt. Oh, hang on, that says black checkered. This isn't black checkered. Okay, if you order MXUI31, this is what you'll get. They're writing, whoever's written, the, they've just written that in twice, haven't they? Black checkered fabric twice, yeah. This is what you'll definitely got, get. Yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm just checking. Look, it's definite, definite, definite. Look, this is the right one. So this is what you'll get if you order this code. Not that I doubted Hannah in the slightest. Oh, no, it's not enough to make a shirt for me after that, no. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. Check out your baskets. Or oh, you could make, oh, oat coat it, make it into all cloth and make. The pots. Oh, 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 I see. So there was a coffee run, was there? No, but it'd be nice to be asked, wouldn't it? Oh, this is nice. I've, already, I've got a butterfly shirt, not this similar to this, haven't I, from Claudio Lugli. Sunny sunflowers in butterfly. 7.49. Okay, half the stock's gone and half's in basket, so you need to check out if you really want that. If you really, really want it. Right, do you want to see the Mega Bundle one last time? Okay, here we go then. Look, here's the Mega Bundle. Right, now, there we go. Now, this one, now, this one, I'll start again. This one is only available in the Mega Bundle. That's only available in the Mega Bundle, that one. At 58.99 is your price for that. Okay, moving on. The panel, which is very popular. Here you go, the panel. Be a little tote bag, wouldn't it? I'm thinking little Paul would sew one of these onto his den one of his denim jackets on the back. Or he'd cut out one of the sunflowers and have it as a corsage. I wonder if you had a lovely birthday. I saw you opened a very posh bottle of red wine yesterday afternoon. Oh, no, he hadn't had a drink all year. But he opened, no, but he definitely put on Facebook or Instagram a picture of a very nice bottle of red wine. Now, Lou says, morning, really enjoying today's show. So happy you're on all week. I'm glad you are. This is day two of six, everybody. Perfect week for me. Thank you for keeping me company whilst doing my EPP quilt for my little girl. Oh, my, my pleasure, Lucy. Next. We can indeed. This, it was from one of the other hours, right? But we thought we'd bring it back into this one. This is natural seeded, 100% cotton. Um, 33.99. How much did she get? Five metres. Five metres. Hmm? It's beautiful to have in your stash because you can just use it as like a normal, a normal cotton, but it's just naturally seeded. It's lovely. And this would be lovely dyed as well. If you dyed this, it'd take the dye really beautifully. Oh, and Hannah's going to cut out some flowers and applique them on to make just a, a wall hanging. She's going to put beads on them in the cushion so they glint in the sunlight in her backyard while she hears the workings of the abattoir. <laughs> oh, Ollie, you don't know, do you? Anna lives, Anna's at the front of uh, Anna's house, there's a seaside, so she sits in her bay window 
looking out on the beach, right? And then at the back, she's got a back ginnel with an abattoir and a bread shop. Yeah. <laughs> In that lovely little village, you know, Bijou Village. They, they called it a Bijou, Bijou Village on location, 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 where Hannah lives. <laughs> it is very trendy. Oh, no, it's very trendy. Very trendy. Right, am I going, where am I going next? Oh, I love these. I think these are gorgeous. Which colour first? Blue first. Right, this is by the half metre, remember. Oh, a shirt's out of this. In fact, I think I put a shirt... Oh, no, it was in pink, wasn't it? I put a shirt on Facebook of a fashion show I did, and the poster was of me in a pink... Do you mean you didn't see it last night, Hannah? It was eight years ago, I did a fashion show and I wore, uh, for, the, for the advertising campaign, I wore a pink version of this shirt and this, it was lovely. It says, yarn dyed. Uh, beautiful, 3 99 uh, Actually, can I just say something? I think it's very wide. Not 55 inches wide, that. If not 60. Hang on. I want to say 55, but I'm going to be wrong, aren't I? Oh, I was right, 55. I was right. Don't need to measure it. I've got a sign. I've got a message from Hannah. <laughs> um, and now, it's a lighter weight than the butterflies. It's a, this is like a shirting. It, this is between, I'd say, a lawn and a poplin, this one. Did you write that down, Ollie? Lawn and a poplin. Yeah, three ninety nine. There we go. Moving on, so that's the blue one. <laughs> Yellow. I'd like a shirt in all these, please, Hannah. If you're making any shirts, at the w she's got the weekend off. She's got time to make me three shirts, hasn't she? It does worry me though, because when she made her pajama bottom, she but she made two left legs. Didn't give up. She still sewed them together and wondered why there was plenty of room at the front and absolutely no room for her bottom at the back. Anyway, 3 99 55 inches wide, 100% cotton. Now, what did I say, Ollie? It's between a lawn and a poplin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised you're buying this in by the multiple. It's lovely. It's really, really lovely. Really good quality as well. $3.99. Are you GIA trained, Ollie? Oh. We had to, Anna and I used to work in jewellery, see, and I had to, we had to, we had to do GIA training when we were doing it. Oh, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> right, here, here we go. Now, this green is lovely. It's a kind of sagey olive. No, no, not sage, olive, I'd call this. Anna would like a little summer dress in this. Been, oh, actually, you know the dress she wore on Saturday? This fabric would be perfect if you were going to copy that little dress you wore on Saturday. Yeah, be nice that. And it's not too difficult to make that dress either. Oh, Rachel's got her sunflowers. Well done, Rachel. <coughs> Excuse me, I love... I, I wouldn't know which one of the three to choose, I don't think. 3 99 for half a metre. Maybe I'll have to make myself some summer shirts this year. Lovely. So they're the ginghams. They're yarn dyed ginghams, those. Next. I've had these, the blues. Oh, these, 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 the ones I love, the ones I love from yesterday. Oh, they're Mojo. I didn't realise they were Mojo. Sorry, that's my bad. Right, now, I've got all these. These are not a bundle. These are just by the half metre, but I think they are... Oh, you're not showing them very well, am I? I think they are glorious. Look. But look, Hannah's nails. When she goes to have her nails done. So I've got that one in two different colourways. <clears throat> not bundles by the half metre, remember. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll have a slurp of my water in a minute. Right, white one first. This is by the half metre, remember. 
So you can have as much or as little as you like, as long as it's in um, increments of half a meter. It's called Moody Bloom Rainbow. Oh, creaky chairs. Uh, Moody Bloom. Why oh, we've called it White Spot Multi. We've called it White Spot Multi. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, just keep an eye on that. I'm just going to have a slurp of my water. Thank you. 7.49 for half a metre. I think this is lovely. It's very unusual, isn't it? It's very erratic. 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. Now again, let me just feel this. This one feels... You see, this one definitely feels like a light poplin as well, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous for a shirt, gorgeous for a little summer dress. I like all the colours. But then, look at it with the black background. Oh, you see, that's nice. Now, up until yesterday, I'd never seen any of these before. Quilt border is what Hannah's thinking. A buffet in the living room. Thing is, Hannah, you make a buffet and they say nobody will be allowed to put their feet on it. If they're not allowed to sit on your sofa, they definitely won't be able to put their feet on your buffet. You're frightened of what? Oh, you don't mean a buffet, you mean a bean bag. Okay, so it's a buffet, but it's got polystyrene balls inside it. Yeah. That's lovely. I love that one. Okay. Then, and now, hang on. Have I got that in two colourways? Let me just check. This is lovely. Painterly. Oh, yes, there you go. Oh, no. that. Oh, no, they're different sizes. Different sizes. Sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I haven't, I've only got this in the pink colourway. By the half metre. Now this looks like someone's just got their paint box out. Oh yes, you want the code? Oh no. All my favourites are selling out. JZW120. It's all sold on pre-order. All sold on pre-order, that one. Right, then the blue one, which isn't... There's only three and a half metres this one left. No, this isn't a diff, this is a different one. It's different. I mean, it's all right. Oh, hang on, let me check the number. 85, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the pattern's slightly different. It's more jungle-esque, this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely mode of fabric. I love the fact that the, um, this one's called Flores, but with three Fs. F -f 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 Flores, this one's called. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, that one. But there's only three metres left. So this is why I always tell you to go to pre-order, just in case there's something you definitely, definitely want. Right, now I know I've got this in three colours. My monkey nuts. Oh, I've got it, oh! Oh, hang on, I've got it in five colours. I remember seeing three yesterday. Oh, okay, so which one sold out? Oh, no, no, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. Yeah, I'm just um, moving the iron. Right. Royal Blue will be that one. I was about to sell out. I wouldn't call it Royal Blue. I mean, it's the most exquisite colour. Oh, look, look at the selvages on these. They're lovely. This one's called Leaf It To Me. That's like a little Paul joke, that one, isn't it? So you get uh, 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. This one will sell out today. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, it's going to go, move on. Which colour would you like to go to next then, Han? Dark green. This is like the olive again, look. With, now, now, these are both... Oh, they've all got gold. They've all got gold. Now, it's not painted on. It's part... It's a... You know, it's the... Um, print. Uh, not print. Ink. 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 You can get gold ink now. Leaf it to me. 
in the green. Now, what colour have we called the a dark green? Okay. It's more than dark green, that, isn't it? It's beautiful. Okay, then I'm moving on from the dark green to aqua. Ooh, you see, they're all beautiful, aren't they? Now this, when I was little, my mum used to work at Browns of Chester before I did, and she used to work in the Casapupu room, and it was full of all the designer, beautiful gorgeousness, and this would be very much of the colourway. Yes. So my mum, when she worked at Browns of Chester, she, she used to work on the shop floor. She used to work there when she left school after she did her secretarial training. Then she married my dad and travelled all around with him doing in the RAF. And then when I was about 10, we moved back to Chester and she went back to work at Browns of Chester. She started off in the shoe room, then she went to the Casa Poo room, then she went into, worked into, pers went into personnel, and then she became management. She became the uh, Mr Rossbottom's um, personal assistant. And... Uh, and then she was on all the management meetings. Anyway, she was very, very powerful in Browns Chester. Um, but anything that the display team didn't want anymore, she used to say, oh, I'll have that, I'll have that. So she had a mum and dad had swimming pools, right? So she'd get all these like ornaments like this, you know, like statues around the swimming pool. But she, she used to collect like perfume bottles that were this big and lipsticks that were like this big and everything. And I just, I, they were just the bane of my childhood, right? So when I was clearing the house, when mum and dad left, I went and smashed them in the skip outside. And then Julie, my sister-in-law, came around and went, oh, she said, oh, those bottles, I really want those big perfume bottoms. I was like, oh, they're in the bottom of the skip. Anyway, what colour do we call this? Aqua. It is aqua. She also had enormous, enormous shells from somewhere. You know, like conch shells, but they're about this big. Like they're massive, like this great big massive conch shells and everything. I don't know. I don't know if they were real or not, if they were display ones, but and palm trees around the swimming pool. Right. I've got two pinks now. I've got a magenta and I've got a rose. Right. So this one we've called pink gold. The people upstairs have arrived, everyone. Look how you see, now it's too fine to do a, a chair in, I'd say, but the, wouldn't a chair in that be beautiful? In the corner of the bedroom. The boudoir. Well, it wouldn't go in my boudoir because my boudoir's green and gold. There's no room in the Indian princess bedroom for furniture now because I've moved that into the office, haven't I, downstairs. Now that I've got a very big office and sewing room upstairs. Right, now what colour we call this one then? Red. So a test for Ollie. What colour would you call this, Ollie? Uh, moody pink. Oh. Yeah. Dark magenta, I'd call it, I think. Oh, royal red. Not just red. Royal red. Seven forty nine for half a meter. It's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. Okay. So now, what have I got left here? I've got leaves. I've got right. Hang on. I've got this one in two colourways. Got this one in two colourways. This one looks like um, a batiki or what is it when you like kind of put paint on blotting paper and it just goes blah, like that. Blah. Oh, score what? Oh, okay. Alcohol inks, apparently, they're used. Oh. My friend Sunita, she works in the film industry, and obviously her whole career for during the pandemic, she said, she's doing marbled papers now. Yeah, so you, you put the ink in, the, whatever it is, in the water, and then you dip the paper in like that and bring it out, and it's all, like, beautifully marbled. They do that with what? Trainers? I want to surprise little Paul hasn't got some of those. He's got his leopard print one. He's got his red one. Right, which colour am I going to first, sorry? Pink first. So what it is, it's like the background is all ethereal and then you've got like white outlines of all the flowers on there as well, look. Moda, moody, bloom pink we've called this. What have they called it? Her garden. Her 
her garden this one moody bloom <laughs> 7.49 for half a metre. You see, now I'd want to chop that one up. You know, like some of them you want to keep as the whole fabric. That one I'd want to chop into half square triangles and things. Nice. I've all... No, it's not a batik. No, no, it's, it must be a digital print look. Yeah. Nice. And then we've got it in green. Oh, Jill on my bottom. Here you go. Uh, just got the royal red. Oh, lovely. Going to make the kimono. Oh, that'd be lovely. The kimono placemats in that. You mean Yvonne Macadamia nuts? With oh, that'd be lovely. When you get the fabric home, though, you're going to absolutely adore that. Oh, no, what's the with Karen? Oh, John, I dare you to look online and see how much money... You smashed in that skit. Oh no. I paid nearly four hundred pounds for an X display. I can't tell you how many there were. It was no, it was angst. It wasn't passion. It was childhood angst that needed to be smashed. So it was it was cheaper than a therapist. Well no, because I needed a therapist anyway, but anyway. That was a different, oh no, that wasn't a different, it wasn't a different reason, was it? But anyway, I'm not, I'm going to empty my soul to you today, don't worry. Light green, this one's called. Oh, how, oh no. I won't Google them because it'll really depress me. Did they have, did they have big lipsticks as well? Were the big lipsticks on Google as well? Oh no. It was a long time ago. I wouldn't have got £400 a long time ago now. Right, now I've got this one in two different colourways. I've got it in the pink and the blue. Now this reminds me of a Tanya Whelan drawing this one. Yeah. Pink one first. This is pretty. There you go. So we've called it ro uh, Bloom Rose Pink. It's called... Oh, oh no, Rosette. This one's called Rosette. It's pretty, isn't it? You can see the, how they've painted it, can't you? Lovely. Rosette. And then I've got Rosette in blue. There you go. This is Rosette in blue. This looks like Delft pottery, this one, doesn't it? Beautiful. Okay, then the one last fabric in this range. I'm so glad to be able to show you this because I love this the other day. Oh, I love the dots in the background on this one. Okay, this one hasn't got a name on it. Oh, it starts with a B. There you go. What should, what's the other one look like then? No, the only one was the one that you said was sold out at the beginning. Maybe Elliot didn't get it off the trolley. No, it's definitely not in any of the other piles. No, never mind. You don't, Hannah would like this as wallpaper. Oh, I can see that. Have you got lots of wallpaper in your house? Oh, no, I know why she won't put wallpaper up, because when she sells the house, she'll want to take it with her. That's what she's always said. If she found a really, really nice wallpaper. Yeah. So what's Poppy going to do when she moves? Because her downstairs toilet wallpaper is gorgeous. Right. Am I going here or am I going there? There. Yeah. Look, these are beautiful. They're not a bundle, not a bundle by the half metre, but I just want to show you them all to start with. Ditsy, 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 big leaves, paisley, 
gorgeous night garden, that one. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's my favourite. That's my favourite. But this is nice. Well, Paisley, look. Right, now, what I'm going to show you now is everything we've got left of this collection, and I doubt we'll get it again. Oh, and there's only two and a half metres of this one. Solstice, Prince Paisley, this one's called. We won't get this one again. I haven't got a name on mine, so I'm hoping they've gone with the real names. Oh, Julie says, I've re just received my Beppu Koi bundle and my Yarnu, Yarno Rainbow bundle, and the quality is exquisite. I can't step go to getting out and admiring it. Thank you for introducing us to such lovely fabric. It's our pleasure. Our absolute pleasure. Look, it's not lovely. Just limited, limited, limited. What's he muttering about in the background? He can see Alice in Wonderland in this one, says Elliot. Next one. Can I do this, my favourite one, next? We've moved on, Elliot. We're on to this one now. Oh, we've got seven and a half metres of this one. Uh, this is solstice. This, oh, they've just got numbers. They haven't got names. Windy? Where's that? <laughs> Where on earth has Windy come from? Seven, it's lovely. I love it. I love all the colours in there. They're beautiful, aren't they? This is what Hannah wants her back garden yard to look like. I actually, I have to say, I gave a picture to my um, original garden designer of what I wanted my garden to look like and it didn't look anything like it. I still love it, I love it, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. 7.49, oh, Hannah. Beautiful. Right, now I'm going to do this one. I, I called this one Night Garden. I'm not quite sure what they'd have called it. Look again. Oh, look. Camellia, that's called. I bought Kat a Camellia for her moving in gift. Yeah, well, I thought the whole of the garden to the side of her house was hers. Because when you see the pictures of the house, but that's not it belongs to someone else. Yeah, Hannah bought your chopping board in the style of tumbling blocks. And Anna had, and Kat hadn't noticed. She went, oh, some geometric pattern. I've not used it yet. It's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? 749, Camellia on blue. Oh, I see. I think I've got Camellia on another colour in a minute. That's lovely. That's really lovely, isn't it? Okay, moving on. These are all 100% cotton, remember? Oh, Camellia, well, it's not on pink, to be quite honest. It's Camellia on a dark, bluey purple, but I can see why it's called pink. Hang on, have I got... Yeah, that's better, there you go. Seven forty-nine for half a metre, that one. Camellia on pink, they've called that one. It's Camellia in pink, I suppose. The thing is, I can't actually see any Camellias, to be honest with you. They're what? It's, no, it's not Camellia, a Camellia. It's not Mr. Ripley. Yeah, they thought Mr. Ripley would make a better presenter than me, they said just today. Right, this one... And yet it's the same pattern. How funny. So there's just proof. You make a pattern in different colourways. It's the same pattern, look, but just in different colourways. And how different it looks. Oh, do you want to go there first? Yeah, this one first. This is Hannah's favourite. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing little girls' dresses made out of this. I've got no name on this one again. We've called it Buttercup on Sand. It's 
seven pounds and 49 pence for half a meter lovely then i'm going to go which well am i where am i going with now then oh hang on that goes there I'm going to kind of do the orangey background now. Right, okay, we've called it ochre. It's not ochre. Uh, I, well, I think a dark apricot. It looks like a colour of... What's that pudding we talked about the other day? Angel Delight. Caramel Angel No, No, not caramel. What was the one they did that was a, a, this colour? Butterscotch, thank you. Butterscotch Angel Delight. I haven't had angels. I've most it's mostly got everything in it. I can't eat it. Make me poorly. Oh, that's nice. Hannah's going to get some angel delight at the weekend when she's sitting at home all alone in her posh frock. Hannah's got the three-day weekend off. She's got Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. No, it never happens. Monday's my one day off after my six day stint because then I'm back in on Tuesday. Now, what colour have we called this one then? Multi. Multi, this one. Solstice Buttercup on Multi. It's nice, I like it. I do like it. Isn't it funny though, when you get it multi, you can sort of see a stripe going through the multi, which I couldn't see in the other one. Yeah, because I can definitely see it to the next one as well, in the pink one. Okay, and then last but not least in this range is the pink. This looks like a tilde pink, doesn't it, this one? Oh, fuchsia, we've called this. And if little Paul was here now, he'd say, buy it now and you'll get it in the fuchsia. <laughs> oh... See, Elliot, that, you take some tips. That's how you're supposed to direct. Solstice, buttercup on fuchsia. 7.49. Oh, yes, of course. Someone wants to see the ginghams. That's fine. Here we go. Colourways, three. Yellow is the most popular. Shall I do yellow first? Colour of communication and friendship. Now remember that this is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Were you gonna, what were you going to say? Okay. And I start to and start to sentence then going, John, we could have matching... Clothes. And I was like, what are you going to... She was going to say matching dresses. I don't really wear dresses anymore. 3 99 Yarn dyed. Cotton gingham in the yellow. Nice. Followed by the pale blue. Don't forget to Yarn Lane today. About 15 minutes we're going to Yarn Lane. Blue next. Pretty, that's classic, that one, isn't it? Very classic. Very Ralph Lauren. The pale blue. It's only 3 99 for half a metre, and it's 60 inches wide. Very popular. And then we've got the green. Oh, did we ever have a pink? Did the pink sell out? Oh, OK, the pink one might have been a smaller gingham. There we go, there's the green. Lovely, isn't it? 3 99 100% cotton. I'd say it was more of a pop lint than a quilting weight, like a shirt, light shirting weight, or a little light summer frock weight. Oh, have we had new, the reason we've got lots of green is that there's more arrived, just arrived of green, because we've got lots of green, so you're all right with the green. Sunflower bundle is here. 
So it's a new collection, brand new today. Wendy did the quilt in the last hour after, uh, out of a bundle of it, but this is the mega bundle. So you get, oh sorry, you get half a metre. Oh, now this is the one that people, can, oh, I can see faces now. Eyes and mouth. Yeah, there's one going, that one's going, that one's going, that one's going, ooh, that one's going, uh, that one's going, ah. Uh. Anyway, then you've got your little sunflowers, which we adore. Then you've got the stripes. Then you've got the huge um, sunflowers. You can only get that fabric today in this bundle. It's not available anywhere else. Then we've got the butterflies on blue. Then we've got the white one with the blue squares. That one on in the half meter is now sold out. Oh, it's only available now in these bundles or in Wendy's bundles earlier. Then we've got Forget Me Not. Oh, we got Forget, Forget Me Not in Yarn Lane today. And then we've got the black and white cross check, cross hatch. Uh, Princess says, really looking forward to Yarn Lane today. Just started on my crochet journey. Uh, C to C is corner to corner. Oh, it's brilliant, yeah. And Rachel said, I got the small one with the black trellis, forget me nots, and solid sunflowers. Oh, Rachel, lovely. Christine on my bottom. Help, John, my childhood memories. Oh, hello. It doesn't say help. <laughs> <laughs> I really have got to get my, I've got to go, my test is, is due. Um, my childhood memories of my grandfather's sweet shop. <gasps> It's a sweet shop. He had displays of huge chocolate, dairy milk, Toblerone, and all the quality streets. Oh, Christine, how lovely. She didn't say help, she said hello. The trouble is, when I worked in Chester Market, I was on Sheldon's Fruit and Veg, and my girlfriend at the time, Michelle Critchlow, she was on the sweetie counter. And I, I was like, oh, how delicious, how delicious. But she said, you don't eat any, because they're all around you, you get bored of them. The first day, you're there trying everything, and after that, you didn't eat any of them. Oh, he goes to P.S. John, P.S. Not a help. Love in today's show. The fabrics are gorgeous, aren't they? And we've got Yarn Lane to go, yes, as well. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. The panel. Right, now, this panel's lovely. The panel's not in the Mega Bundle. This is the panel. What's the matter? <laughs> This is day two of six, Elliot, this. Elliot. Right, so the panel, you get eight squares. Oh, this is going to be upside down. Sorry, sorry. There you go, there you go, there you go. So you get butterflies, you get the flowers, you get the flowers in a bucket, you get the portrait flower, then you get the big butterfly, the bumblebee heading for the sunflower. No, that's a fence. They're not chess pieces, Hannah. Why would there be chess pieces in your garden? It's a white picket fence. Nine ninety nine. That panel. It's lovely, isn't it? Well over half the stock of the um, of the panel has gone now. Right. Right, and we won't have time to do all of these. They are all, they're all listed underneath us. On, they're on pre-order at the moment, and Hannah will click them through later on to be on um, the purchase. It might not be till after Yarn Lane, but she'll click them all through. Which ones would you like to do? Yep. I've got this in two different colourways. It's like a gingham with the flowers on top, with the sprigs on top. Grey first. There we go. You won't get the pink one on yours. Oh. There you go. So this is six ninety nine for half a metre. Moda for six ninety nine. This is daisies on checkered grey. For what? Six ninety nine for half a metre. Oh, Stuart's back. Once you start C to C, you will never go back. Welcome to the crochet world. Hang on, Stuart. 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 We're not on Yarn Lane yet. Yeah, you have to get a much better presenter for Yarn Lane. He'll be here soon. He's getting ready in the dressing room. He's got a shirt very similar to mine. <laughs> but much more together than this presenter. Yeah, I wonder where the graphics have gone. We're going on to the blue one now. 
<laughs> and I keep singing the song from Les Miserables. Now, have you heard Michael Ball's new one? Not too keen, not too keen. 6 99 Daisy's on Checkered Blue, this one's called. There's only a metre and a half left of this in the whole company. All this running to the Yarn Lane studio, John Scott. You won't need to go to the gym. I'm back with a coffee while stocking the shelves. And John Margaret says, John, you've been a tonic this morning. So have the fabric collections you've shown us. Just the job as I'm really fed up with the weather, says Margaret. Oh, is it not nice, Margaret? Oh. We're lucky, see, because when we get in here, well, lucky and not so lucky. So we get in here, we have no idea what's happening in the outside world whatsoever. So if it's a beautiful day, we don't, we're not sad because we don't, we don't know we're missing one. If it's pouring down with rain, we're not happy because we, you know what I mean? So we're fine. Hannah says, we're always happy because we're together. We want to be together. Amanda says, love, love, love the fabrics. They're just stunning. I would have loved the big lipsticks. Oh no, don't be saying that now. Two more fabrics, the big flowers, and then we'll go to Yarn Lane. Everything's on pre-order underneath me. So here we go, the two flowers, grey and blue. Grey first. It's cook grey. Purple. I must have been doing this at night time in a funny light, mustn't I? 6 99 Purple, it's not even grey, it just says purple, I think it's grey and purple. Purple flowers on cream. It's definitely grey. Six ninety nine. Pretty though, isn't it? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then Hannah's favourite, the one with the um, blue. There you go. Lovely. Oh, that's got a real vintage feel to it, hasn't it? Oh, and, uh, Elliot thinks like an old dining room chair. Yeah, it's a wooden chair with just the seat in Phil covered. Right, shall we have a look at tomorrow's menu for... We haven't finished. Oh, no, we finished. We're going to Yarn Lane in a minute, but have a look at tomorrow's Sewing Street menu. So it's Living in Loveless, Beatrice Boxy, Makeup Bag with Kerry. Lovely. Oh, eight o'clock, she's on. Nine o'clock, uh, we've got Fiona Hesford doing the new So Girl patterns. Ten o'clock, we've got Living in Loveless, Wendy Wire Clutch Bag. Oh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? The thing is, there's loads in those hours because I've unpacked the boxes. There's about ten things in each hour. Then at eleven o'clock, we've got So Girl Boho Bags with Fiona Hesford. <laughs> and then at 12 o'clock, we've got adjuster forms. I've only got cherry available, I think, tomorrow. So we've added workroom tools. Oh, no, clap, not clap. We've got the clapper back in stock. We've got the clap, and I will be doing a demonstration using a steam iron and some denim. I know. So anyway, look, I've, we've got to go to Yarn Lane now. So if you have got anything in your baskets, please check them out because there's lots and lots of people coming in today, especially for all the, sun, the sunflower bundle. is very important that you get that. And Wendy's two sunflower, two sunflower kits. The blue one is especially, right? Uh, now, we're going over to Yarn Lane. So Sewing Street, we're closing down now. But if, you, if you're watching on the telly, you stay as you are. If you're watching on YouTube, the Facebook or the website, you need to go over to the Yarn Lane what versions of them. If you've bought something from Sewing Street this morning, your P&P &P is covered on Yarn Lane because even though it's a different, not, not a different country, different company, it's the same warehouse and your, your login details are the same for both. So you can log into both of them. The, the, the uh, items you've seen on Sewing Street today won't be on the Yarn Lane website and neither will the Yarn Lane uh, products be on the Sewing Street website. They are two separate entities. So don't go anywhere. Get yourself a quick cup of tea. I've got to put my running shoes on now and we'll see you in the Yarn Lane studio in about four minutes from now.